Doomstruck. So I talked about this game a bit yesterday, how it cost like 8 million dollars to make and it practically broke Virgin Entertainment because it was a commercial flop, how they threw away like, what, 65% of all the animation they did and how supposedly they uh, reduced the quality of the cinematics by compressing everything to fit into two CDs and that they took three years to make it, so like a little bit of a sad story with this game because overall it's a, it's a good game uh, I have said before that I'm not like very good with adventure games, I, of, I often get stuck but we did manage to figure stuff yesterday, I had to take some notes, let me pull up my little notebook here. We had to deal with stuff like uh, answering the colors of things on a phone call that was very, very weird and wouldn't tell us what we got wrong. But yeah, there was a bunch of interesting uh, puzzles. Overall, we have been managing to work our way through the game, no hints required so far. And the jokes, they're a little bit uh, hit or miss, but when they do hit, they, they hit really well. Uh, and they usually catch you off guard. Like, uh, I don't know. If, if, if you've seen the, the calls, well, I, I believe it's on the stream title as well. Something regarding some squirrel's nuts. There's a squirrel on top of a tree that's that has a pile of nuts that we have to get, I believe. And we literally told our sidekick to like go up the tree, see if you can grab this girl's nuts, grab his nuts, something like that. Uh, it might feel silly, but it, it it really catches you off guard, so it's it's kind of funny. It's really funny. It's a good game. I do like the dialogue, most of it. Some of it is annoying, but I feel like it's annoying on purpose because we are on a. I can never remember the name of the place, Utopia, something like that, where it's just like good fluffy characters, so it's supposed to be annoying. We haven't gotten to like the evil characters yet, which is on the other side of the island. I suppose that's where the really really fun, really interesting characters are. We did like, because blocking our path to that side of the island was uh, the big bad wolf. He required some wine, we did get some wine, but it was cheap wine, he didn't like it, so he captured us and he's trying to cook us right now, which is where we left off yesterday. So let's get right back into it, and uh, this is one of those games that, you know, it has a lot of dialogue, all properly, like, with voiceovers, so I don't have a lot of space to talk, but uh, I'll continue to try and... Uh, explain my my thought process as we play this so let's move over to here and uh, volume levels should be fine but the game has a really loud intro uh, video so be prepared for that it takes a little while to capture so you're gonna hear it before you see it just as a heads up get the game started let's get the Right, because it was the 90s, so everything had to be radical and whatever. I do have the volume, like, a little bit high uh, compared to my usual gameplay, but that's kind of on purpose so we can all listen to the voice acting. Because it's all very good. So we are here, getting cooked. This is where we left off yesterday, timer is running. So now we have to figure out a way of getting out of here. Oh, by the way, yesterday's VOD got muted on some parts where we were at the palace, so Twitch thinks that some of the music, it's mostly classical music, but Twitch thinks some of it is copyrighted, so I guess. Uh, our options here, we cannot access our inventory. And apparently all we can do is try to move for now. Okay, I think we just have to rock it until we drop it. I 
That's the only option we have, at least. Maybe we'll have to keep rocking to the same side. If there's nothing else we can interact with on this scene. There is a book. If we could get this book, this would be useful, but that's for later consideration, I suppose. There's nothing else we can interact with here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna keep rocking it until we come up with another idea, I guess. Yeah, we cannot even talk to Flux. I don't think it is just this. Because I have tried going back and forth, I have tried just insisting on going on to the same side like this. Let me see. We can do it further away from the... We can click further away from the pot, but I don't think it makes any difference. Let me make sure there are no clickables over here that we might have missed. Any clickables elsewhere? This is a bit of a mystery. No other clickables, nothing else to interact with. Like, it, I don't see any differences in the animation depending on where you click. Although I am trying to click in different spots. Slightly different spots. Maybe if it is really far away, it makes a difference. I'm trying to click things even if the cursor doesn't do anything. Uh, shit, I clicked out of the game. They're really oh 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 no though this is the same. So really, I do like the animations here. How they have like a a dumb wolf and uh if this is the the only like classy wolf. The other ones look kind of stupid. Look at the teeth on this one. This is gonna be a very slow cook, as far as we are concerned. Oh, when we first got here, we did talk to the BB Wolf a bunch. But now he doesn't want to talk to us anymore because we're dinner. He doesn't want to get too cozy with us, I suppose. He, it's it's funny his dialogue because he's like really sophisticated but he keeps like try try to use difficult words he tries to use difficult words but then he like, just uses similar but completely different words instead we'll probably hear some of that as soon as I figure this out maybe he has to do I was gonna say maybe the timing of him throwing the carrot slices but we were clicking all the time, I don't think that... I'm 
trying to click the carrot as it as it flies. I don't. I'm really surprising just rocking back and forth is not the answer because that's the only option we have for now. Hmm. What a mystery. And I check again for clickables, but we have been very thorough here. Even if I try to click it, if it doesn't change the cursor, I'm trying to click things. Okay, the game is being very troll about it, but it doesn't seem to be the case actually. Maybe we can hold? No. Holding doesn't change anything. We cannot open the inventory either. We have to be missing something. Or there's something we didn't try apparently, but... It's either to the left or to the right. You cannot, like, try to rock it in the down direction or in the up direction. It's just left or right. You cannot interact with books. I did say that before. Ah, uh, crap. Crap, I might have resized the window by mistake. Uh, just trying to click everywhere. Hold on, let me see if I can fix it. Uh, here. Nope. Nope. This is bad. This is really bad. Ah, shit. Technical support stream. Yes, great. I'm gonna go with this and I can try to fix it better for later. We're still, we're still stuck in here. to fix the size of the window for later. Anyway... Maybe it's just the way you interact. Yeah, yeah, it is... There, it's timed. It's a very particular timing here. Okay. That's new. You have to click it as you're going to start to go. And it's still difficult. We're getting there. I think we're getting there. sure got rid of the wolves. And not to mention all my muscle aches. Who 
Okay, can we get the book? I want the book. That's the first thing I want. Okay, anything else? The wolves' dinner table. Crushed. I'm sure it can leave through here. Just want to make Baby's sure. pot runneth over. A hot fire. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can we make popcorn here? We sure can. That was cool. But remember, don't try this at home. <laughs> okay, okay, very good. We got two things that we needed already. Anything else? Yeah, we didn't need the the butter to make. This isn't a cookout. <coughs> uh, it is if I say it is. Hold on, this thing over here is wrong. Let me put the poster back there as well. And what a mess of a string. Anything else we can put on the fire? Can we cook this here? It'll burn up if I just toss it into the fire. I realize. Just because we're here, I want. There has to be a better way for me to knock sense into my head. Okay, this is two things already that we needed, that we got. Let's move on. I kind of know what to do with the. Meanwhile. Ah, trusted henchman, enter. Majesty. I need you to take care of a meddler. Another Qtopian? No, this meddler is an alien. <gasps> and he is not alone. He travels with a Zanian. Oh, don't worry, your monstrousness. We'll get you. I never said I was worried. <laughs> no, of course not, your excellency. Sorry. Find them at once and lock them away. Uh, uh, forgive me, Majesty, but for how long? Well, gosh, I don't want to seem unreasonable. So, how about forever? Forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, as I suspected, this goes to the wolf then. Um, and I just now understand, uh, realize that uh, those three guys, one sees, one hears, and the other talks. So it's like a reverse three monkeys kind of deal. That's uh, the squirrel with the nuts. We cannot get to yet. I want to move the popcorn. We still have to check here. First, let's get the popcorn to this stupid character. Fluffy, we have a special surprise for you. It's popcorn, isn't it? Right? Isn't it? Huh? So what are you waiting for? Give me my popcorn! Uh, sure. Here you go. Okay, so the cotton candy is... <laughs> we don't have any need for it right now, but I have to presume that we're gonna use it maybe for the machine? Okay. Oh yes, the fugitives are around here somewhere. I can smell them. Uh, I think that might have been me. Perhaps the fugitives are at the costume shop, procuring garments with which to disguise themselves. Move it. Be very easy. Something tells 
tells me those three unpleasant henchmen-like voices belong to Nefarious' three unpleasant henchmen. What are we gonna do? Think! Think, Flux, think. This one is easy, just going here. Move it! They can't have gotten far! Phew, that was a little too close for comfort. No kidding! Talk about small dressing rooms! It was kind of dicey when the henchmen came in too. Sigh. Okay, so that's what the pothole is for. It's for travel. I did suspect it might have been for travel. What is this? The recipe for squirrel love. Oh, this is for the squirrel. See the male squirrel look at the female squirrel? See the female squirrel's big teeth and nice bushy tail. See the male squirrel get very excited. Happy, happy squirrel. See the happy male squirrel jump up and down. See the happy female squirrel jump up and down. See the happy male and female squirrel. We're on way to make whoopee. Hooray, bye bye squirrels. So we need to find the female squirrel, maybe, to get that other squirrel all the way and get his nuts. But uh, that's not the reason for the book. This Would is... you like to trade books? Mating habits of the malevolated forest squirrel? Oh my god! No way. Way. What a <laughs> totally cool <laughs> book. Thank you so much! Alright, what is this book? Enigma, a book of insoluble paradoxical puzzles. I'm sure you're gonna need this for someone, something. The pothole is still there. Let me put down a save. Let me just take a look at the... Yeah, the capture is a bit broken, I do apologize, but you sh shouldn't be missing anything. Okay, so now we have these two things that we didn't have before. The Malevolator. I don't know if the... The cotton candy... Well, maybe it's the uh, opposite to the rock? Because there is rock candy, so maybe cotton candy, I don't know. Uh, the spice we already have, it's the sugar, the salt, we need to get the pepper. Dagger is a cloak. Stripes, I still don't know. Bolts, we need the nuts. Needles and polish and whistles, I still don't know. Okay. There are a number of things that we don't know how to get to yet. Can we talk to this thing? Hello, Fluffy. Oh boy! My special friends are back! Drew, if I ever get like that, shoot me. Oh yes, the barn. I guess you heard that Nefarious hit the farm. I know, and I think it's just terrible. But in times of trouble, there's no point getting upset. You just have to take a deep breath and smile and say, Damn you! Damn you, Nefarious! That was my barn! My barn! And <clears throat> what I mean is, you should always look on the bright side. Happy day! Happy day! Whatever you say, Fluffy. And you too, Fluffy. I freaking hate Guess this we'll character. Okay, I did forget again that we need to check uh, the new barn. Uh, the game did originally come on two discs. I'm starting to think that disc two is going to be like the evil side of the island in general. So let's see what happened to the horse. Marge! Holly? Mistress Marge! And Punisher Polly! Divas, Divas of, of destruction. destruction! I don't like this. 
Whip my cream! I really don't like this. There's no way I'm putting my hand in there. Glue is something you earn, slug. What have you done for us lately? Don't spare the rod! <laughs> Hello, ladies. Ladies? Well, not technically speaking, of course. Shit. More, you sack of mutton! Nefarious hit the barn, didn't he? I guess a half dozen times. And I've never felt better! Harder! Harder! Tenderize this side of beef! Bad cow! Bad cow! Take that! Flux, we can't just stand here! You're absolutely right! Flux whipping boy wildly, reporting for duty! <laughs> Whip my cream! Uh, you guys are... Harder! My hide's getting numb! This just isn't healthy. Yeah, I know. A cow wearing leather. It's just not right. I'm I have a point. begging your forgiveness, mistress, but I can't whip any harder. And use something else, you worthless insect! But I've already tried everything in the barn! You got anything we can use? Liars? Staple gun? Flamethrower? I think I might have some toenail clippers. Forget it! Okay, so More that's what we need mutton. to be able to pick up the glue. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know where the More glue is from. Shit. Mutton. Say, where's Elmer? Uh, yeah, it's not like him to move. Elmer? That's a sticky question. Very sticky. I haven't seen Elmer for quite a while, but he's certainly around here somewhere. <laughs> You get the feeling they're not telling us something? That's okay. If it's what I think it is, we didn't want to know anyway. Yeah, that's a good point. What's wrong with your Trinitron? Call me crazy, but I, I could swear it's making glue. Course it is, can't you read? It's a Gluatron! With it, I'm making the finest glue in the world! The quickest drying! The strongest smelling! I know you want it! But you can't have any! That ridiculous whip. There's got to be something better. More! More! Well, okay. see you later. It's been disturbing. Very. Careful with that whip. You could hurt somebody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh. Maybe the mallet? I don't know. Pathetic worm! We tried that before! I'm numb to that kind of abuse. I need a new, unbearably delectable form of torture! Jesus... That is useless! Does nobody understand the needs of a frustrated, buxom, bovine dominatrix with masochistic tendencies? No. Give we, it to we me! do not. Mince my meat! That is useless! Does nobody understand the needs... No, we do not. Uh... Fertilizer? Pathetic worm! We tried that. No. I'm numb to I Pathetic we I need a new <laughs> Pathetic we I I really would like to not have to be here. I don't here. think she's hungry. I don't think she's hungry. Mince my meat! Okay, I think I've tried everything. Ugh. And that thing, can we pick it up somehow? Who needs fertilizer? I'd rather have this stuff. Ooh, you can replace it! Good! That was... Watering can full of dangerous looking stuff. That was a wild guess. You're right, we didn't need the fertilizer for anything, just for uh, the mouse. Since that is already done, we can use this. I assume they already Pathetic used this. Worm. Yeah. We'd, uh, I... Don't spare the rod! So let me get out of here before it gets any worse. 
How much worse could it get, actually? We're back! Well, if it isn't the dynamic duo! Nice to see you boys again! Let me just test this one more time. Nope. Nope. I think this is better. Okay. We can talk about the barn, I guess. The barn is a disaster. Let me guess. Nefarious. Who else? He zapped everything in sight with that hideous ray of his. A zap zap here, and a zap zap there. Here a zap, there a zap. Everywhere a zap zap. <coughs> you must have been worried that Nefarious would hit you. I was. I'm glad I was able to outrun him. Yeah, good thing you outrun, outrun him. him. Just a little joke. <laughs> Well, we gotta be going. All right, boys. But don't forget about your friend the Carecrow. Be sure to keep me posted. As if I wasn't already. Okay, what else? Um, we do have uh, one other region to check to the left. Because down here is the wolf then. So we can follow up here now. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm out of here because I know where to use that meat already. So let's just do that first. In case we need... Uh, I think it was an arrow that we could get from that. So we'll meet over here. It's another hole they can come out of. Give this dude its meat. It's nice that you care so much about vultures, Drew. Can I pick this now? I don't think the vulture will let me. Wait, what? Vultures make me nervous when they hang around like that. Okay, either meat is not the answer. Or he needs a lot more meat than that. The Malevolence. I assume we can pick up another hunk of meat. Yeah. It's not how it's supposed to be used, so we can just pick another one. This is an entrance to... A skull and cross wrenches. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I bet it isn't welcome. Another entrance. There's a castle. That castle belongs to Nefarious. A path there. Proper attire required. Around here, that could mean just about anything. Cities. Cities. The place just screams. Reputable establishment, doesn't it? Did I see something move over here? Or was that just this thing's shadow? This is a bouncer, apparently. Let's talk to the bouncer. Uh, hello? Ah, one of those strong silent types, huh? Hey, I admire a guy who... <laughs> who you calling a god? That was pretty obvious. Certainly not you, ma'am. So, uh, what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Quit the two-bit pattern, mister. I ain't got the stomach for it. Really? Yeah, really. Say, what's your boyfriend getting at? Nothing, nothing. Nothing at all. We were just wondering what you were doing, standing here. Where everyone can see you. I'm here to make sure no two-bit saps try slipping into CDs without the proper attire. Great. Well, since that obviously doesn't apply to us, I'm sure you won't mind if we just head on inside. What did I just say? 
Um, I, I believe it was a gaseous emission more than an actual statement. Wise guy, huh? <laughs> well, Crack and Foxy won't get you birds anywhere with me. I said no one gets into cities without the proper attire. Now beat it! Okay, I don't know what the proper attire would be, but I... There is a guy in a cloak going in and out of there. So maybe I need the cloak from the scarecrow to get in here. Please, Madame Bouncer, my friend and I would be most grateful if you let us into the club. You girls must have took a wrong turn somewhere. This ain't Sapsville and I ain't your mama. If you two ain't got the proper attire, then you're taking the long road to nowhere. Drill, talking to this throwback isn't getting us anywhere. You're right, Flux. We aren't getting through to her. It's like we're speaking different languages. Wait a minute. That's it! Flux! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I sincerely doubt it. Unless you're thinking about how fun it is to slap yourself on the butt and yodel, Whoa, Nelly! I'm thinking we need to change our approach. We need to start speaking her language. Her language? Oh, no. Don't even think about it. So, from now on, kid, throw your yap in overdrive. Make like a tough guy. Punctuate your sentences with C. See? This is the most ridiculous plan I ever heard. See? Okay, I guess that's... everything? Hello, sweaty eyes. What do you want, you lousy two-bit parasite? Maybe we can talk about more stuff. We can talk about cities and we can talk about nefarious. Step aside, sweetheart. We want into that club, see? Gee, that's too bad. The sign says proper attire required. Something wrong with your blinkers? They're not in our armpits, if that's what you mean. Keep asking for it and you'll get it. Plenty. Don't get excited, lady. Just tip us off to the proper attire. We'll see what we can do. What do we need? A tie? A fez? Tux. A gorilla suit! All right, that's it. No more Mr. Nice Girl. You don't scare us very much at all. Yeah, so why don't we all just step outside? We are outside. Oh. Excuse me? Well, that was unpleasant. Hey, little lady, your dance card full tonight? Careful, Twiggy. Unless you're hungry for a knuckle sandwich. Say, are you sweet with Nefarious? The Count? He's not my type. Yeah? What exactly is your type? Wait, don't tell me. Ten feet tall, covered with hair. And a waistline that stretches from here to next Tuesday. Your boyfriend's a real sweetheart. But somebody ought to tell him that people get loose teeth for talking like that. Take it easy, sister. All we want is a little dirt on the Count. What do you birds want to know? What's his game? What's his angle? What's his scheme? What's his... angle? That's a lot of questions. That's okay. We got a lot of time. Well, I ain't. Well, then... neither do we. <laughs> well, then get out of my face. A pleasure. So long, sister. Fox, I'll handle the interrogations from now on, okay? I think there's nothing here for us unless we get the cloak to get inside. Listen up, Missy. My partner and I have a little business proposition. I don't... Never mind talking. Let me do it. If you let us into the club, we'll tell your boss what a swell gal you are, see? Sorry, girls. Rules is rules. Now don't go simple on me. I'm telling you, this little scam will put you in solid with your boss. Forget it. If I let you two in without the proper attire, my boss would beat my teeth out and then kick me in the stomach for mumbling. Nice guy, your boss. Psst, Drew, remind me why we're so keen to get inside this club. Just mess with this one more time. One pixel. Two pixel. I don't know if this is getting better or worse, because I feel like there is a... No, there isn't. Man, why did I accidentally touch this before? It is the best I'm gonna be able to do. Okay, so there's yeah, nothing there's no else answer, here. Kid. Get out of my face! We need the coat to get inside, I'm pretty sure. And for the coat we need a suit, for the suit we need ink, I believe. I'm not sure these robots are the work of someone who's brilliant, 
or completely insane. In my experience, the two usually go together. It looks like a Mega Man boss. Feel the power. Oh, the plunger we needed. Don't touch that. Can I help you? There's only one way to teach the primitive mind. Hey! Any questions? Okay. Uh, this doesn't look like a passage, actually. Can we you distract him? Can you pick this up? Gotta start talking to Hi him. There, Mr. Robot. Robot, do not belittle me, you diseased sack of awful. I am a synthetic mega ultra genius. That's smug for short, right? Ha! Huh, very amusing. Make your cheap acronym base cracks while you can, Pond Slime. One day, cybernetic beings like myself will take over the world. And when that day comes, life will not be a container of cherries for you and your kind. You will all be eradicated, exterminated, annihilated, obliterated, and terminated. Of course. Of course. With extreme prejudice. Resistance will be futile. Hmm. A robot hell-bent on taking over the world. Now there's something new. Yeah, this guy's a walking cliche. Except he's on wheels. Hmm. Right, we do need this for the to be able to flush fish, which we need to do for reasons. What's with all the piles of junk? Trash collector on strike? Fool! These piles of junk are the most sophisticated robots in the world, and I designed every one of them myself. No offense, but this is obviously the work of a very sick mind. Sick mind? You insult me! This is no mere mind. I'm equipped with a 100% synthetic, error-free, positronic brain. A brain infinitely superior to the gray lump of mucus that shivers and sweats in your monkey skull. But that's not all. In parallel, my brain is supported by a one-of-a-kind, state-of-the-art, twin-turbo, self-cleaning, air-conditioned, micro-macro processor. Whoa, that's one hell of a chip you got on your shoulder. Correct. Go ahead, ask me a question. I can answer anything. You say you can answer anything, right? Affirmative. Anything. Then I have a question. What if someone were to ask you a question you couldn't answer? Can't happen, period. But suppose it did. I told you, that can't happen. So, you can't answer my <laughs> question? Fine, if it were to happen. Which you can't. I suppose I'd... Well, first I'd experience excruciating pain as my circuit started to sizzle. Then I'd start to shake uncontrollably as I lost control of even the most basic functions. And finally, my head would hurtle into the air like a rocket. Okay. Rendering me a useless heap of scrap metal with no more brain power than your average kitchen appliance. Did I mention that this cannot happen? Good thing. That sizzling circuit stuff sounded like it would hurt. Actually, the thought alone caused me considerable discomfort. Allow me to repay you in kind. Hey! Ah, that made it all better. <laughs> okay, I already know how to do this. You, are, you probably anticipated what I'm about to say. Indeed, I have. Oh, magnificent man of metal, I worship you. And everything touched by your mighty steel fingers. No, goodbye. So I'm pretty sure I just have to give him an impossible puzzle and he'll blow up and we can pick up the plunger. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, maybe I'll exhaust the dialogue first. Hi, how's it going, Robo Chump? I have an intellect second to none. I can hurt people a lot with my index finger. Business is booming, and sooner or later, I will rule the entire world in balance. I'd say it is going pretty well. Yeah. Let's see you climb a staircase, Hotshot. So who buys your, uh, creations, anyway? The elite of the Malevolent Lands, of course. Count the Ferries himself is my best customer. I bet he's a tough one to please. There isn't a more cold-hearted, calculating, manipulative creature in the Malevolent Lands. We get along like a domicile on fire. It's almost a pity that he, too, will die when the machines take over. <sighs> <sighs> Do tell. One glorious day, 
I will command an army of death machines, whose primary objective will be to rid the world of all lesser beings. That is to say, everything that is not a machine, thanks to our superior minds, powerful bodies, and heavy-duty death guns. You and your kind will find yourselves deader than the nails that are used indoors. That's what you think, Boltneck. But bear in mind that other catchy saying. Don't count your young domestic fowls before they've hatched. That's a lot of talking. And I don't think it's going anywhere, but gotta keep going just in case. So, what sort of robotic masterpiece have you whipped up for his royal unpleasantness? A nose hair trimmer? A bubble bath dispenser? A robotic foot massage? Of course not. All of my creations have one thing in common. This. Hey! An electrified finger? That must be kind of limiting. No, idiot. The ability to cause terrible pain. Or at least considerable inconvenience. For instance, I've just completed a device of the utmost importance. An impenetrable cell door for the Malevolence prison. Mark my words, no one will ever escape from the Count's jail again. Okay, uh, yes, that's a lot. We, we did exhaust this, but not this, all this. Okay, I have to ask, what is all this stuff? Like that heap of components on the counter. Is it dinner, perhaps? It's a work in progress. The latest in my new line of home security robots. First, there was the bus duster. A feather duster program to viciously disembowel any unauthorized user. I could sure use one of those, babies. Happens all the time over at my place. Some jerk breaks in and tidies up. Then I created the Securidil Ultra Secure Pickle Jar. Enter the wrong combination, and the lid explodes. Sending razor sharp shrapnel searing through your flesh. Another winner! And now, the Toastum brand security toasting system. The ultimate answer to illicit bread browning. Should any unauthorized individual attempt to drop bread products into this toaster, boom, chakalaka, the toast. Ha, 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 ha. You know, you'd think a guy this brilliant could come up with a better joke than that. Sorry. You think the joke was bad? Did you hear the laugh? I'm gonna have to adjust. Okay, let's move on. This is probably asking about the uh, asking a question he cannot answer, making him explode. Okay, you say you can answer any question, right? Well, I've got one for you. You don't say. If a tree falls in the woods and there's no one around to hear it, does it make any sound? Boy, that's a toughie. What a ridiculous question. Obviously, the same sound waves would be generated regardless of whether or not some moronic sentient being was within Correct. the shot. Was that a yes? Uh, I, I get the point of the question, but the answer is obviously yes. You ever do any work inside the big guy's fortress? You know, laundry, windows. No windows, but I have created several formidable security doors. One for Nefarious himself, and one for his psychic sidekick, Misfortune. Security doors? <laughs> I don't see the challenge for a synthetic mega ultra genius like you. I mean, give me a couple of inches of steel, stick on a locker tube, bingo bongo bongo. I got me a security door. Ha! Huh. My doors offer far more than a rudimentary lock and key mechanism. Entry to Misfortune's chamber is controlled by a sophisticated voice analysis system. And the Paris's door will only open if his own hand or Misfortune's paw is inserted into an ID scanner. Their hands are their keys. Impossible to lose, and strictly not transferable. In summary, my security doors give you far more bingo, bango, bongo for your buck. Okay, so that's actually useful information. Uh, the door to Miss Fortune's room requires her voice, and the door to Nefarious's room needs uh, one of their hands. Oh, maybe we use the glove to get her fingerprints or something? All right, good to know. What do you know about Nefarious's henchmen? What do I know? Everything. I was the one Nefarious called upon to remedy their various deficiencies. Deficiencies? The first could not talk, the second could not see, and the third... Went wee 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 all the way home. The third was deaf. I was commissioned to create bionic senses to make up for whatever they lacked. 
thanks to me, today, they are an extraordinarily powerful team of henchmen. Of course, the bionic gadgets I created are superior in every way to their own feeble, flippy, floppy body parts. A waste of technology. But no matter, when the revolution comes, my steel warriors will salvage these devices and torch the rest. The revolution. I can picture it now. A barren wasteland littered with flesh-stripped skulls. <laughs> a steel foot triumphantly crushing the... All right, all right, we get the idea. It was your plan to bore us all to death. Okay, that's all the dialogue. Good luck with the world domination and stuff. Luck? Luck has nothing to do with it. Why, it's only my exceptional intelligence that... Uh, right. See ya. Okay, let's try this right away. Rubber beauty. Yep. Boy, this is a great book. There's all sorts of interesting stuff in here. Puzzles, stories. Say, would you like to hear a story? Of course not. Ah, come on, you'll like it. It's a story about a genie. The smartest genie in the world. Hmm, he certainly couldn't be as clever as I. No one ever stumped the genie. Until one day, the king's sister's best friend's hairdresser came to see him. Did she? She asked, what is the one question that you can't answer? That's nice. So, seen any good movies? Hold on a second. See, I thought maybe I'd ask you the same thing. Same thing? What? Same thing? You know, what's the one question you cannot answer? This is absurd. I... Well? I... it's... You can't answer my question? Stop it! I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. There's nothing I cannot answer. Nothing, I can't. Oh, I don't feel well. What have you done? Impudent meat puppets? What have you done? Done, done, done. Nice. <gasps> night, night. I knew he was smarter than old Bolt Brain. So what is the one question he can't answer anyway? Oh boy. Okay, now we can pick this up. Let's take the plunger. You blow off a guy's head and then take his plunger. Correct. Now that's low. Yeah, that's why we did all of this. Just another example of the power of the written word. I don't have any use for the head of a broken down megalomaniacal robot. Are you sure? I don't have any use for the head of a broken down megalomaniacal robot. Just another example of the power of the written word. Are you sure we can't just take a little bit of it? Is this just the plunger? I mean, I guess, but... Alright. Let's go use the plunger. See what it does for us. When I'm all these scenes that we have been to before, I'm gonna start skipping the travel. If you if I click here, it's gonna walk. If I right click it just goes. So I'm gonna do that sometimes. Just to speed things along. Now we can use a plunger here. <laughs> Too bad the robot maker couldn't be here to see what we did with his gadget. The shock probably would have blown his head clean off. That hadn't happened already. Now can we flush the fish? I haven't had this much fun since my goldfish died. Goldfish! Do I have to click to... Oh, I have to click to pick a specific...
There's a picture? Oh, goody. It's a safe. Oh, is that a sliding puzzle? Ah, it is a sliding puzzle. <laughs> Why do they always have to? Oh, it's a slow sliding puzzle. One more time. That's even worse. Um. Yeah, that was surprisingly good. If that's man, I hate these. Absolutely. Horrible. Mm. And when it is slow like this, it's just Settle down, everyone, get comfortable. This is gonna take like half an hour or something. And it's just a 4x4, I know it could be worse. Uh, horrible with these. I need to get this one here now. The fact that it is slow is gonna make this a lot worse. those two. I think this might actually be how I do that. No. No, I have to invert these two somehow. Yeah, like this, but then I would have to enter it differently, which I can't. It's still the wrong order. Okay, I think this is correct. Yeah, I think I just have to 
pull it all the way over there. I don't know if this is the proper way of doing these things, but... But it's gonna work. I always feared the day that I would have to do one of these on stream. This has to be here. Ah, that was very close. This has to be like the last thing I fix because it's on this corner, I think. I just have to f solve this, I think. This has to be there. I did it. I a hole. A hole? What? No, a portable hole. This thing can take us anywhere. Hold on. There's some writing on it. No. Prototype only. Extremely limited range. Use in town centers only. May wish to purchase life insurance before commencing travel. Right, so this goes on the potholes. Man, uh, let me put down a save. I don't want to do that again. I hate sliding puzzles. Oh, ink pad. Okay, can we do this? I ink, therefore I am. I'm sure this is only mildly illegal. There we go. Another one sold. Look, it's a mindless cartoon. So we can't do anything here. There's nothing interactable over here anyway. So this might not actually be anything. Yeah, I don't think there's much of anything else in here. Can I use that uh, to fast travel maybe? Okay, Flux. Here's the plan. I'm going to put down this mysterious prototypical thing we found in enemy territory and know nothing about, and then we're going to jump into it. There we go. Couldn't we just play a nice, quiet game of Russian roulette? <laughs> no. I don't know what I was expecting, but I know it wasn't this. Really? Have you seen a mysterious dimension that doesn't feature eyeballs? Mathematical formulae and clocks flying around. Point taken. Alright. I think this is just best travel. Actually. Malevolence and paths. Yeah, this is just fast travel. Which is good. 
That was kind of my expectation for these bottles. Hey, we made it! We didn't get lost or implode or anything. Implode? You never said anything about imploding. If you thought a guy might implode, you could at least warn him ahead of time. Okay, now let's get the costume. I don't know which one, but a costume, I guess. Because now we have the stamp. The uh, king would like to redeem his free rental voucher now. Let's see. The voucher's authorized. Cool! Okay, well, first let me give you his free gift. You mean his free rental? No, I mean his free gift. Here you go! It's a fly suit. Yeah, it didn't really, you know, work out as a rental. Nobody around here wants to look like a fly, I guess. But I thought, you know, maybe you would like it as a token of appreciation for his business and stuff. Great, I can't wait to show. And like, don't forget his free rental. Is King Hugh looking for anything in particular? Uh, we'll know it when we see it. Okay, like, take whichever one you want. <laughs> oh, no crap. Crap. <sighs> now I know, I know, I know. The Scarecrow wants something that is not out of this world. That doesn't have a big top. That isn't too bright. Shit. I would have to like take notes on what he wants. He speaks very fast, I don't remember everything. So I guess I'm gonna pick one of these and hope for the best. So, um, hmm. Shit. I'm gonna try this one. And if it isn't, then I'm gonna try to take notes on what he wants. He speaks very fast. Just a sec. Here you go. Enjoy, okay? Okay. I'm sure I can trade it for another one. In any case, we do have a a save. It's right here, we can try plenty of times. I think we found what you're looking for. Oh, goody, goody, goody! <gasps> nope. What a terrible disappointment! That outfit was just all wrong! I say nothing too sappy and you bring me this little ensemble. You have a wicked sense of humor. I love it! But please bring me my dream outfit soon! I just can't bear the anticipation! Sorry, we'll try to find something more to your liking. So not Seppi. So the lumberjack one is Seppi. He wants something that is... ...festive? Hello again! Uh Please, keep it down to a dull roar, honey. You're gonna give my little darlings a headache. Okay, what do you so want? Are you willing to trade your cloak if we can find you something, uh... You gotta be kidding. You mean you don't remember the spiel? Of course not. I want something I can wear all day long and all year round, but it doesn't have to be out of this world. I don't want to have a hair out of place. Nothing too sappy and not too many bells and whistles. I don't want a big top and definitely no cross-dressing. Thanks. I admire a guy who knows what he doesn't want. I didn't take all of that. Not one hair out of place. Not all day, all year. Uh, not out of this world. No bells and whistles. Did I actually get everything? 
no, no big top. Let's see. So long. Oh, I can't stand it. I just hate goodbyes. We're back. Well, if it isn't the dynamic duo. Nice to see you boys again. Okay, let's go. So, about that dream outfit of yours. Look, I know you're just trying to impress me, but maybe you should write this down. I'm trying. Me. I want something I can wear all day long and all year round, but it doesn't have to be out of this world. I don't want to have a hair out of place, nothing too sappy, and not too many bells and whistles. I don't want a big top, and definitely no cross-dressing. No problemo. I've got it this time. Okay, I Say might have got it this time. Say goodbye to your feathered friends for us. Goodbye, feathered friends. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. I want to trade this. Exchange it, actually. Would it be okay if we exchange this? Oh, go for it. Pick a costume. Any costume at all. So, Lumberjack is sappy. Hmm. This is uh, cross-dressing, I suppose. We would not want this. This is bells and whistles. This is not all year long. I don't know. Not out of this world. Not all day. And not a hair out of place. So not this out of here, out of place, actually. No big top. So maybe this... Harlequin? It's not too sappy, right? It, it is all day, all year long. It is not out of this world, obviously. There is not a hair out of place. Yeah, this also has hair. I presume this also has hair. But the hair he wants, he doesn't want them. Okay. This is not cross-dressing. does not have any bells and whistles. Doesn't look like it, at least. And I don't think it is a big top. I don't know what would classify as a big top. Just a hat? No, that can't be it. So I'm gonna go with the Harley Quinn costume. Yeah, we have Here to try a few times, I guess. Enjoy, okay? Okay. Or we can get it on this attempt. Is this it? I think we found what you're looking for. Oh, goody, goody, goody! <gasps> okay, we got it. <laughs> First try every time. The care crow. This is terrible. Yeah. After all that effort, my costume is ruined. Yeah, that too. Uh, okay. That is progress, but of course the game's gonna make us feel bad about what happened. This guy's as rank as a row of soldiers. We cannot talk to it. We can move on, right? Yeah. Gonna use the coat, the cloak. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to use it on the machine, but uh, I also have a strong suspicion that I have to. 
easy to get in here. You don't suppose this cloak is the proper attire for CD's cloak? Of course it is. Only one way to find out. Evening, ma'am. Stop flirting, Jack, or I'll kick out your insides and turn your empty hide into a party dress. Of all the gin joints, and all the towns, and all the world, we walk into hers. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I have to find somewhere to hide. And quickly. Of course we should search this area. For all we know, the fugitives could be hiding right here. In our own backyard. Wait a minute, we have a backyard? Perhaps they have sought refuge in CD's club. Move it! Uh-oh! Henchman alert! We're doomed! No, we're not! We can always, um, well, uh... Good night. Changing room? Most obvious option. Huh? Yeah. Move uh. it! They can't have gotten far! Okay, that was... A little we obvious. It. We are wedded! Three morons. Well, at least it beats... Being outwitted by three morons. Good point. Well. Well, I'm really glad we shared this moment, Drew. <laughs> now, can we please go and do something that isn't pointless? Okay, what? We can look At the level ends. Everything deviates from the straight and narrow, even the bowling lanes. We can talk to this bear, we can talk to CD. We cannot talk to the bear. The level ends. Every, even the we can talk to it while it's doing that. Let's talk to CD first, I guess. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me? What kind of talk is that? Take my advice. A guy could find himself with his face caved in, mouthing off like that at my club. Did you clowns figure it was ladies' night or something? Ah, shut up, you bald-headed twit. That's better. Now, <laughs> what can I do you for, creeps? We like two pairs of shoes. I'm a size 10. My friends are... Oh, a couple of hot shots, huh? Well, listen up. I see hot shots like yous come true here every day, gunning for old CD. And I watch them crawl right back out the door. Loses every damn one. Now why don't yous do just... <sighs> blow. I don't understand. Gunning? For you? I only ask for some shoes. Listen, chump. The only shoe you'll get from me will need to be surgically removed from your rectum. Wait a minute. You two ain't aware that I, Seedy, am the one and only champion of hairpin bowling? No, I... Oh, hold on. Hairpin bowling? Where you jerks been, bacon cookies? Hairpin bowling is the toughest, gruelingest, sweatingest sport ever invented. It's so tough, you gotta fight for a lane. And once you get a lane, the only score what counts is a strike. And nobody ever scores a strike. That is, nobody but me. Okay, so I'm sure this is gonna be another mini game we're gonna have to deal with. That's fine. I can tell by the house rules that you're a fair man. CD. Deranged, but fair. But tell me, why is everybody fighting to get a lane? What's the big attraction? Well, a good rumble is reason enough for most of us. But there is the added incentive of a prize. See, you score a strike, you and these three beautiful golden pins. Yeah. They are yeah. beautiful. Take a good look, chumps. That's the last you'll be seeing of these. Unless you score a strike, that is. <laughs> Hello, 
So, CD, what's your secret? Why are you the only one who's ever scored a strike? To be a world-class bowler, you need years of practice, huge cojones, and of course, my special technique. Step aside, losers. Watch and learn. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna hurt. <laughs> Look, Mom, no hands. Oh. kind of hairpin bowling. And yes, sport fans, all the animals were harmed during that performance. I guarantee you. You must make your mama very proud. Yes, and as for your bowling technique, well, it's uh, very unique. Yeah, I'll say. It's a real gas. Well, well, ain't we cheeky? I guess the bottom line is that it works. That's right. But not just any old bum could pull it off. All right, all right. No more wisecracks. <laughs> oh, jeez, look at that icon. Ah, uh, center, bottom, bottom. Got it. Uh. So, CD, you and the Farius ever get together and go bowling? Nah, his dark unholiness rarely graces us with his royal presence. He just hangs out in his impenetrable island fortress, castle, place, thing, working <laughs> on his dreams for global domination, torturing the innocent and laughing like a madman. Whoa, that's a tough schedule. Have you ever been inside his fortress, castle, place, thing? Are you kidding? Nobody wants to go inside that joint. Of course, if he's not careful, a guy could get himself dragged inside by the Count's tree goons. <laughs> Talk about freaks. Yeah, okay. Maybe we need to be captured by them when you want to get inside the castle later. Who knows? Do you mind running through the rules for hairpin bowling again? Okay, suckers. You're free to use any technique that trips your trigger. But the ball's gotta make it in one piece all the way to the pins. And the only score what counts is, is a, a strike. strike. Should you do the impossible and score a strike, the grand prize of three golden pins is all yours. Mm, I don't want to click this. What do you know about the Count's henchmen? Those three half-finished morons who work for Nefarious and a sort of the Malevolence PD. Creepy mothers, too. Rumor has it that old Nefarious brought him back from the dead. Naturally, they think he's just the cat's meow. They kiss his butt up and down, do whatever he says. You know, toadies, they kind of make me sick. Hold on, he brought them back? From the dead? Sure, but don't get excited. It's not all it's cracked up to be, all right? These chumps weren't exactly in tip-top shape when they came to. One guy couldn't hear, one couldn't talk, and one couldn't see. The robot maker across the way rigged up phony eyes and ears and whatnot. Like I said, real creepy. Uh, chat, we have to click this. Mr. CD, I was wondering if we might get another no, demonstration no. of your fascinating bowling technique. Yeah, I miss that icky feeling it gave me. I don't. Sure, I thought you jerks would never ask. I'm gonna skip it. You guys are okay with me skipping, right? 
Thank you for your time, Mr. C.D., sir. I thought I told you. Manners only maketh trouble around here, punk. I think what Drew meant to say was, Stop it, you bloated bag of gas! I, I, I think I know what I need to do, actually. Shit. Shit. No? Okay, that's actually good that that, that isn't the case. A truly repulsive fly costume, complete with big buggy eyes, leathery wings, and sticky suckers on its feet. Well, maybe uh, all the lanes are taken, we have to talk to the bear and do something to get him out of there before we can try anything. Maybe we just need to mess him up and ask for a demonstration just like a gym, yeah, the gym, gym's gym, whatever, we had to like, oh, baby bye. <laughs> uh, can we talk, we can, excuse me, Mr. Bear, never mind, excuse me, Mr. Bear, oh, baby bye, <laughs> never mind, Okay, so to get him out of there, maybe we have to mess with his ball, because not looking at the ball, so maybe we just replace it with a puffer fish. When he's not looking. Good night. No, 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 come on. The bear doesn't strike me as the sharing type. Right, which is why I don't want to take it, I want to replace it. Ah, shit. Good night. Now we need to do something to that ball. To get the bear out of here. I presume. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> oh, he's killing flies. All right. The bear. Okay. While he, the bear is not here yet, what? The scarecrow's yeah. ugly cloak. Um. Good night. No, no, we can't interact. It's a very short time that we get <laughs> that. Guys, the pig is kicking the bowling ball. The other lady is like throwing it like a baseball or something. There you go. Good night. I think we need to do something to the ball, but we don't have a lot of time to experiment. The cat crow's ugly cloak. I still think that we need to like replace it with this. I generally try to avoid eating any in the malevolent, even the good night. throw this at the lane it's not giving us a message like the lane is already taken there has to be a better way for me to knock sense into my head burn baby burn <laughs> he's not looking at the ball I really get the feeling that I don't need to do oh maybe oh Okay, I need the glue. I need to use the glue on the ball. Mind if I change into something a little more comfortable? Right, I need to use the glue on the ball, so I need to get the glue first. Uh, put down a save here. We can go to the castle. A uh, stump. Half a tree is better than none. Nefarious's castle. I wouldn't want to live there. 
Hey, I bet it's not even a nice place to visit. So maybe we need to do something on this stump. Nothing comes to mind. Maybe not now, even. Okay, let's move move back to the barn. Let's see if we can use maybe the buffer fish to get the glue. Let's see. The lead is interested. Worm. We tried I nope. I'm conspicuous at Mince my meat! That is useless! <laughs> so no, I don't actually have anything. Whip my Maybe we can... Try to give the vulture this fish? I think he preferred... No, it's only red meat. I've already given him this, unless we can fool him with this. Vultures are... No. I don't think there's anything else here. Pretty sure this was just for getting stronger. Unless we can do something with the hole? I doubt it. And we got what we needed from there. I have absolutely no idea what the fly costume would be good for. Or the puffer fish, for that matter. This guy's as rank as a row of soldiers. And we also don't know. Okay, the arcade is done. Costume shop. I could talk to her, but I don't think there's anything else to do here. Back. Hmm, something's different about you. I know, you used to be purple. <laughs> no, uh, that's him. Oh my god. Sorry. Sometimes I can be such a dance. You can ask about the book that she's reading now. I hope that book is deep enough for you. Please! I mean, sure, the plot is a little predictable, but some of the symbolism is just... awesome. That book? Has symbolism? But, you know, Enigma was cool too. Well, see you later, Miss Fit. For sure! Stay rad! Maybe we... We do something to flux to make him look like Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Because he's the color of the of the uh, squirrel. Maybe this works as a tail? Not much of a gift. Yeah, I'm not getting any options for that. I don't think that's the kind of thing. Hmm. Yeah, I expected this because there's a place to hide. Right here as well. Alright, man. Let's split up. Uh, but, but, but what if one of us gets lost? Oh yeah. Uh, 
All right, men, let's stay close. Let's check the bakery. Oh, uh, I could be wrong, but I think Nefarious' henchmen are about to make a special guest appearance. What the hell are we gonna do? Uh, oh, let me think. Hurl concussion bagels at them? No. I just hide here. That was... What's this room is for? <laughs> Move it! They can't have gotten far! <laughs> they didn't check the pantry? You should always check the pantry! Where did they go to head school anyway? I'm just happy they're gone. Okay, they're still sad over here. And uh, I don't think they would be interested in any of this. Uh, I want to check like the hole on the cupboard. I just have to like. I think when I go there, the vod gets muted. So I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to try. Try to talk over it so it doesn't get muted again because all of these songs are like uh, classical music renditions, so I don't know why specifically it's getting muted like this, but I have to like uh, keep talking on top of it so it doesn't get muted again. I think that's how it works. Do let me know if that's not how it works because yeah, I don't see much of an option other than just keep talking even though I don't really have anything to say I'm just trying different things here but I don't think any of that is gonna work so I'm gonna move out right away and I th think we are clear and even that we have to worry about anyway they also have a hole here that may they might come out of the entrance to whack me look out look out for what nothing i always say that just in case yeah we got everything from here i hate to break it to you son but this is a bit and i don't know if we need any of that Flushing with us? Can't. Orders to fail. Heads to bash. <laughs> okay. I still don't know what to do with any of these. Like we have used this. This is just an indication for something. A watering can full of dangerous looking stuff. I still don't know where to use that. Yeah. A tiny bit lost right now. Also this sign. We need to deal with the vulture. If we give him a meat, he just eats it and we have to pick another one. It's nice that you care so much about vultures, Drew. I don't think he just like gets satisfied eventually. That would be too easy. Nothing different over here. Can put stuff in the fire, but oh, maybe we need to cook the meat. I doubt it, but might as well give it a try. This scrap of meat isn't worth cooking. That's debatable. Right. Uh, just checking to see if we missed anything here. Yeah, most of this seems very extra. It was just this puzzle to get the hole that is... I mean, it doesn't even seem necessary, it's just like a shortcut. I can't get in there. 
I don't have any use for that. You cannot pick that hat. Nothing else here that we can interact with. You can look at things. They will give us the same result. Is the, does this turn? Can we go into a separate place? Because it looks like it. Uh, oh, no, it's plugs that we can interact with. Yeah. Oh, he can press that button, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe if uh, if I can stay here and ask him to press it, no. We both walk over here. It's just that this has this mark on the floor, which means that this obviously turns around. So there would have to be like a secret chamber to the right. This button doesn't seem to do anything, and we can't tell him to go over there. Just another, just another. I don't. Have I can't pick the toaster. Hmm. We can't get in there. That hairy thing is in the way. to check if there's like some other passage that we might have to mouse over to see yeah I know I need the glue probably on the bowling ball so there's not much of a point in, of going to the bowling alley we need something painful to be able to get the bowling ball. Oh, is this painful because it's meat? And presumably uh, that's a cow, so she might be offended. I don't know. Ready for some speedy, convenient, and only relatively disturbing whole travel? This is not too efficient, actually. Might end up not using this so much. We have arrived. Give it to me. Okay. Can we offend you with meat? I don't think she's hungry. No. That is useless. Does that is you does <laughs> that is does nobody. Okay. Pathetic. We I Pathetic. We just making I sure we have tried everything. The Carecrow's ugly cloak. I don't think so. That is. I don't. Don't spare the rod. Don't spare the rod! Pathetic! We... I... No... I don't think Whip there's... my cream! Pathetic! We... I... I... More, you sack of mutton! That is... <laughs> hmm. Can we... Uh, interact anything here, maybe? Ooh! Oh, we put the poison on the meat so we can kill the... Okay. Okay. We had to combine items. I hate when you have to combine items in these games. Ah, whatever. Good enough. See? That just goes to show... Uh... That 
Vultures shouldn't eat poison carcasses. Nice no, lesson. You are not only my friend, you're my teacher. Murder. Always good, I guess. You never know when you might need a big arrow sign. Indeed I don't. Can you pick the dead vulture? Think anyone would mind if I took this feather? I've heard it said that plucking a feather from a fallen bird is a noble gesture of compassion and respect. I'll buy that. <laughs> of course, the guy who said it was drunk at the time, and everyone else thought he was a moron. Okay, so I think we just have to tickle the cow. It's not a sentence you say every day. A feather. A feather? A feather! It's brilliant! It is. Think about it. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Ah, of course! Now, you worms may take some glue. Okay. Punisher Polly doesn't like ingratitude. Uh, thank you both, uh, so much. Hopefully I'll never be back here. Feel free to stick around and watch, won't you? Tickle me, my wild and woolly one. Tickle me until I, can't I skip scream this. for mercy. Um, I can't Gee, use the mouse. I just love happy endings. Can we go now? Okay, I just want to see if we need to take more of this. <laughs> the first round was so good. Maybe I'll try seconds. Right, we might need it, so might as well. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> we could poison some meat again. Uh, do we have to? We do have the glue. I think we need the glue on the bowling ball. So the bear is out of the picture. Um, oh, I don't think she's gonna give us more meat. Okay, so that's only once. Activate cloaking device! Don't mind us, ma'am! We're, We're just, just passing, passing through. through! Then hustle, unless you want to see my fist passing through your face! Okay, now we just use the glue on the bowling ball, I'm pretty sure. He grabs it, he throws it, he goes along with it, and maybe we actually get a strike? Might be that easy, actually. Or maybe... I don't know. Behold! A bear trap! <laughs> That's fine. That is a strike. Good style, good form, good adhesion. Overall, I'd give him a nine. That was a strike. Excuse me, sir. Uh, what Drew's trying to say is... Aloha, dung ball! What do you two losers want now? I did get a strike. Does that not count? Can you run through the rules for bowling once more? <sighs> Score a strike and win the golden pins. Or don't and fail miserably. My money, by the way, is on you failing. Miserably. Say, uh, why don't you just beat it, mister? No, oh, is that all you got, flower girl? And eat crap and die while you're at it. By George, I think she's got it. <laughs> okay, um... CD <laughs> was right. I'm never gonna get a strike. Okay, what can we do? Can we replace it with this now? Oh, I think we 
No. I generally try to avoid eating anything that came out of a toilet. I wanted to eat it. I wanted to replace the bottle with it. Good night. Mistress Marge's glue. I don't actually know. Maybe we Good night. use something on the bowl that uh, a truly repulsive fly costume, complete with big buggy eyes, leathery wings, and sticky suckers on its feet. I think we oh, have to bird. do something. <laughs> After that, we have to get a demonstration from him, so it's the same as, as Jim's. I'm afraid if we try to get another demonstration now, it doesn't do anything. I also don't know what this arrow is for. So this is to get in here, and this goes on the machine. The arrow might be, later. might be for some like this. Bow and arrow. We need the arrow for this. It probably has no other use. So arrow, pepper, cotton candy, cloak. Stripes, no idea. Heart, maybe a brain. But I don't know. Whistles, no idea. Polish, no idea. Needles, also no idea. This is nuts. And a bowl and chain. Maybe we need a chain. If we I'm put down a save, I think if we if we ask for another demonstration, it's gonna play that same hey, animation again. Fat boy. Hey, freaks. I'm gonna ask and you. Uh, my friend and I are having a tough day. We were wondering whether we could take a peep at you shoving a ball up your ass by way of a small pick me up. But of course. What an exchange. <laughs> yeah. It's the same. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna skip it. Drop dead, fat boy. Sayonara, Tinkerbell. We can use it and we fail if we do. Alright. Again, no ideas. I'm conspicuous enough already. If he doesn't give us more meat, that was just for that one time. Okay, maybe we need to combine items. Let's. That would just be a waste. That would just be a waste. Oh, really? That would. That. 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 Hello there, Trash Cat Hacking Chunker. How's it going, my friends? Nice to see you again over here. And uh, apparently we put some glue on this, so now we put it on him, right? No, not yet. The door to the squirrel's treehouse. Because one of my guesses is that we put this on him for him to look like a squirrel, and then he goes in there. That's not much. But no, not yet. But we did have to put glow on this. Okay, let's that would just see. Anything that, else that, takes that, glow. That, 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 that. Oh, we put. Looks like you got a bunch of stuff now. Pretty good. 
just made some chicken soup. I like chicken soup. I don't have it often, but I like it. Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. We, I don't know if you were here until the end of the stream yesterday. I ended when we got caught by wolves. And then we moved on with the other bunch of stuff. Uh, I did get a book from the wolves then. I replaced with this. I gave to a guy. I got a plunger. I used the plunger on the fish flushing. I got this fish instead of the red herring. So the red herring was not a red herring. It was actually useful for something. We got ink. We got this ink pad. And we make a stamp on the voucher. So we could get a, the correct costume. We had to take notes. This scarecrow wanted, wanted something not too sappy that he could do all day, all year. Not out of this world. Not one hair out of place. No cross-dressing, no bells and whistles, and no big top. I had to take note of all of that. Because we had like eight different costumes to choose from. But I got it on my second try, so... Hooray. He got us a cloak. I'm pretty sure the cloak... Because we got a cloak, it's instead of the dagger. We got an arrow instead of the bow. Still need to get to get the pepper. Uh, for the rock, I think it might... I, I thought it was the cotton candy because rock candy exists, but I think we're gonna use it for something else. The game wants very, very specific things. Yeah, traditional moon logic stuff. But it's a cartoon world, so they can go a little bit more over the top than usual. Yeah, even compared to other point and clicks, what can you do? It's a cartoon world, I suppose. Oh, do you want to see something very, 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 very disturbing? No, do you want to see something even more disturbing? Hold on, I don't even know where to start. Ah, uh, you missed some, some stuff, but... Yes, <laughs> nice answer. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it was worse before we got the feather. Because she had a whip. And then she kept asking for her to hit her harder. And then moaning. And you remember the horse? Now we have a machine making glue. And they were not very direct with it. Anyway. I wish I was more surprised. Yeah, the entire initial dialogue there, like... Some of the... Puzzles were easy. Like, this guy, if he got an answer that he couldn't answer, then... A question that he couldn't answer, he would explode. Then we got a book of impossible puzzles that we just read it out loud for him. Right, so I'm gonna show you something really disturbing. Because just one is not enough. I'm sure there's more stuff in Activate the game. Cloaking device. Don't mind us, ma'am. We're just passing through. Then hustle. Unless you want to see my fist passing through your face. With the game, it, it goes. No, not college, but places. Yeah. Good night. Excuse me, sir. Uh, what Drew's trying to say is... Aloha, dung ball! What do you two losers want now? Okay, um, unfortunately I've, I had to see this twice already and we still haven't figured out this particular puzzle, so, uh, enjoy. Uh, my friend and I are having a tough day. We were wondering whether we could take a peep at you shoving a ball up your ass by way of a small pick-me-up. But, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna hurt. <laughs> Look, Mom, no hands. Oh.
We also have to get a strike, and I'm hoping we don't have to copy his technique. Yeah, that's a puzzle. We have to get a strike so we can get a trophy. And we already had like this lane was taken, we had to get rid of the guy over here. Now I don't know how. Say, uh, why don't you just beat it, mister? No, is that all you got, flower girl? And eat crap and die while you're at it. By George, I think she's got it. So yeah, we can throw the ball ourselves. It's it's a wash if we try to. <laughs> CD was right. I'm never gonna get a strike. What else? Resto. Change -o. What else? It's, it's good because by doing a recap I might think of what I have to do next. So I don't mind going over it. In here we had a sliding puzzle. Because who doesn't love a sliding puzzle? Also it was one of those sliding puzzles where when you click a piece it, it, sl it slides slowly instead of instantly. So, Oh joy. At least it wasn't very large. There's a monitor. We can't turn off and on, but It's a mindless cartoon. Did we get past the strength test? Yeah, we had to. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't mind reviewing things because, again, it gives me time to think of what to do. But to get past the strength, we had to... This thing was separate from this. We had to put the butter in here. It was not for making popcorn. And then we asked for a demonstration, the dude jumped here, he slid off, he screwed up. So we could use the machine and get stronger, so we could use the mallet. And be the strength test. Yeah. And then he gave us wine, but it was cheap wine, so the wolf was angry at us. And tried to eat us, so we had to rock back and forth on the cooking pot. Then we got rid of all the wolves by doing that. I guess. Yeah. We had to grab some meat, but if you gave the meat to the vulture, it would just eat it and not leave, so we had to poison the meat, have him eat it, and then we could pick a feather from him, which we gave to the cow, because she wanted a better torture device, because she was bored. We got the arrow sign, which I don't know what it's for. A signpost. Oh wait. I think I'll hang on to it. Can I put something else there? Oh yes, I was trying to like combine all the items. Because we did have to combine the meat with the poison, which was not obvious. Yeah, the game is very good at making sense. <laughs> I mean, some of the stuff has been pretty... Oh, okay, we need... It needs to be stamped. This looks like a stamp, which is... box is already inked. Alright. So... We just need some ink and we can stamp it with that. Most of this stuff actually makes sense. Like, I can very easily forgive the monologic stuff. It's not... Uh, most cases, at least. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be used to make, like, a, a female squirrel. Because we found a book uh, with uh, details on squirrel mating. And uh, it, it did picture a squirrel that looked just like the one of the trees, so I think we have to... To create a female squirrel. So he can like just scoot away. I think these I have already come tried, but order matters. Tempting, but probably not a good idea. There's no attraction. <laughs> there's, 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 
Sorry? It's a music. And finally, this. I presume we have to glue this to something. We got rid of the glue, we can't get more glue, so it's, it was just those, those two, two things. I don't think we can put anything here. Let me put down a save, actually. We haven't uh, yet done anything with uh, the things under the counter. These ones. A boxing glove. We can ask for a demonstration, but uh, I'm conspicuous. At yeah. I do have a suspicion that uh, we need to have him use this on him because the animation shows his brain getting knocked off and the brain might be the opposite to the heart I don't know Can we put another arrow on this sign? I doubt it He just goes all the way over there. Oh, we did find fire, so we did make the popcorn. The squirrel's doorstep. And we did exchange it for Cotton the candy and glue. A yummy treat. Oh right, right. These are to to look like the teeth of the female squirrel. I just wish that I could like use it on Flux, but he's not willing to participate. Can we maybe use it on her? I don't think she likes cotton candy. But this one has glue. Yeah, we don't have the mouse anymore. I don't remember any creatures that we could. Use. I doubt this. I don't think he's hungry. It really has to be that these two to build a female squirrel. I just don't know what else. Hmm. I don't think we can get another costume. Like a hi. Ms. Fit? Like, welcome back! Now we can ask about the squirrel mating book. She doesn't say anything interesting. I'm glad you like that squirrel book. It's cool, but then so's every book, you know? Well, it's been cool. Totally! Later! We have been chased by the the henchmen a few times. We just have to find a place to hide when that happens. I don't think he's hungry. I've learned that apparently if you go up here, I think it's specifically inside the castle, uh, we get the VOD muted.
Uh, so let me see if I can... Wait a second. I, I think I can disable it from the game menu. Wait, all this time did we have sound effects disabled? That was... The default... Yeah, there is, there is sound effects, and by default, they were disabled. Okay. So yeah, before going over here, we have to, like, uh, disable music, otherwise the VOD gets muted. Last time we came in here, I just kept talking over the music a lot. But uh, I don't even know if that's enough. Mmm. Maybe I need direction, but I don't think this is going to help. Oh, we did get sound effects before. I don't know when it got disabled. I'm pretty sure I did hear sound effects right at the start. Okay, can we use any of these? On yeah, stuff like this. We did get it before. I have no idea when it got disabled. Um, but anyway, nothing. Nothing that comes to mind over here. I could try dialogue options, but this character is really annoying as well. Hello, Brick -brack. Ah, does he? Mm, no, nothing new. Ah, that. And yeah, we don't have everything, so it doesn't matter. We could try putting okay the cloak. Yeah, there's nothing indicating if that's the correct one. You have to press this. Oh, wait a minute. We can't test the machine. But it doesn't do anything unless you have everything. Yeah, I don't know. This is the nuts. Uh, here, I don't know. Here is the arrow. Pepper, which you don't have yet. Rock, I don't know. Stripes, I don't know. Yeah, everything else is a mystery. I'm gonna put anything. See if having all the items does anything. Maybe it says how many we got correct. Counterparts installed, three. Oh dear, I'm afraid that isn't quite right. Look at the readout! Three functioning components have been installed. And three are placed in the correct compartments. Don't give up, Drew. That's what I always say. Well, I suppose I really say don't give up bric-a-brac, but you get the idea. So yeah, the three that are correct are sugar, which was already there, and we cannot pick it up. Uh, the cloak and the arrow. Everything else is obviously wrong. And not used, not only on the wrong spot. So let's pick everything back up. And I was just thinking that maybe we could try uh, picking up the sugar, but it doesn't let us. So that's good to know, I suppose. And I still don't know what to use in here. So I'm gonna go outside. I also don't know what to do with this. If it is even relevant. And now I can enable music again. Yeah, we didn't hear the plague swinging, so we got disabled before we got even here. Yes, I did. We know what this is for, but it's mostly useless. It's just fast travel. I did suspect it would be fast travel. Ready for some speedy, convenient, and only relatively disturbing whole travel? Yeah. 
Because there's nothing here. It is just the... Uh... I'm conspicuous enough. It is just fast travel. Malevolence town center. This certainly goes to here. Yes. You know, I kind of like whole travel. Yeah, we did not hear these sound effects before either. I wonder if we can't put something there. The only thing we can put it it's it's this and it doesn't want to a hand holding a wide awake mouse. It's interesting that I can only look at this, but it does give me the option to try and pick this up. I guess the nut's not up for grabs. A nasty looking squirrel. I really think oh. it's supposed to be used on flux. Because he is the correct color and kind of the correct size. My pal Flux. I can't talk to him. Flux, could you try getting those nuts one more time? No! <laughs> okay, I can't even send him up there. <clears throat> We can kill it. Oopsie. I seem to have spillweed kill on this nice bri patch. Unlucky. Okay, we can get the pepper now. Drew Black, the notorious vegetable pillager of Cutopia, strikes again. <coughs> I think you'll find that peppers are actually classified as fruit drool. Eh, whatever. A dead Malevolandian briar patch. Hedgium thornius. Bye bye. I just want to see if there's more briar patch dead over here. Maybe it opened the passage. No. Okay. Now I have to test the pepper with other stuff. Although the pepper is going to be for the machine. And we need more stuff for here, just in case. Oh, we don't have more. Empty. Ooh. Okay, maybe we need to... Fill this with something else now? Interesting. Because we had fertilizer here, we used it to revive the mouse and it stayed here. Then when we used it on that barrel, it got replaced. And now it's empty. So this is different. Maybe it should be reused. Somewhere.
I don't think there's anything else in the cooking pot. Nope. Can we cook the pepper? Oh, there's a roast. Oh, I didn't see this before. Okay. I'm saving the world, not. There must be. I'm saved, not. Keys for the baker's piano with glue. Okay, so maybe we have to use that. Where could we possibly use that? I would have tried to use it on the cow before. That's a good question. It's all very funny until someone loses an eye. I can't use it on flux. Can I have flux? Try Activate the clocking device. I didn't try using flux on the bowling ball. I wouldn't expect him to do any better. Then hustle. Unless okay. She has said that before. Nope. Nope. He's probably had hemorrhoids more painful. <laughs> yeah, he probably did, I guess. Presto. Change mm. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Ready, Flux? I know where to use the spike. You just have to keep thinking about it. We have Let me... Uh, yeah, sure. Let me disable the music. And here we go. Finally. Ready, Flux? We've been waiting for this moment for a long time. That's true. Let's find out what top secret royal goodies are locked away in this cupboard. This squirrel. Top secret royal stuffed kitty cat. Hurrah! Whoops! Look at that. That toy cat just fell off the shelf and landed in my pocket. Stealing from his royal smiliness is truly despicable, Drew. Do it again. <laughs> now we just have to glue this. That's cute. And this. Oh. Eh, that's a squirrel. Let me enable music again. Let's use the squirrel with a crate. He might find that interesting, but I don't think he can see it from up there. Okay, then shove it here. Oh, it's missing something. Well, he definitely likes her, but I guess she's not giving him the right signal. Hmm. Maybe because we don't have glue anymore. Oh. Whack me jumping beans. Oh, don't tell me. Perfect. A hopping, beat up, stuffed cat. Yeah, it, it has to be. Jumping. I'm gonna call it jumping. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. Bizarre, but sweet. You realize it'll end in divorce. They just have nothing in common. Right, so can you pick... I can't reach them. Okay, you 
pick up the nuts. Flux, could you go up there and grab those nuts? Sure. You never know when some extra nuts will come in handy. And, and thus ends a request for nuts. And it only took us nearly seven hours. Thank you for the GG's. Um, yeah, I do know we need these for the machine. I don't know if we're gonna get to use them again, but we did get rid of a bunch of items. The piano keys, the cotton candy, the jumping beams, and the stuffed kitten. So that's uh, for our last items to try around. Right, so I, I assume this is one of the necessary items. So we have the cloak, the nuts, the arrow. And the sugar, that's four items. Mm. And this screen is probably fully harvested now. A plucked pepper plant. Yeah, over here we still have the we have the speed. Base. That holds the spit. The fire, the cooking pot, and the table. We didn't use the table for anything. I don't think you're supposed to. We did pick the spit from here. We did cook the popcorn here. This was also not used. All right, we. And we got the book from here. Just it's not giving us meat anymore. Yeah, this monitor feels a bit mysterious, but I don't think there's anything else to do on it. This side, with absolutely nothing to do on it, is really mysterious as well. All we had was the puzzle to get the portable hole, which wasn't even that useful. Nothing here, it has the button that doesn't do anything, robots we can't really interact with. Unless we interact with her, but I doubt it. I think it was just a puzzle to get inside. Oh, it's called the end of the world over here. The stump also has me stumped. Can we fill it with nuts? Nope. I generally try to avoid. I'm conspic. I'm cons. Nefarious is castle. I wouldn't want to live there. Hey. Right? No, I want you on the stump. Nefer no. I hey. I yeah, there was nothing here, of them looking at the stump. I don't have anything that is like obviously for a stump. We can't fill it with nuts. 
What could we possibly do to mess to mess up with the uh, with the bowling throw? Activate clocking device. Because the fact that you can keep asking for him to repeat uh, the demonstration would indicate that maybe. <laughs> Because it was the same with Jim, we could ask for him to repeat the demonstration and we got him to screw it up. That's a big and all right joke. Definitely not. Also, in here is nothing, right? right? Well, yeah. Well, I'm really now. Can we? If we could, like... Now, of course I'm presuming there are not soft locks. Because we could have theoretically picked uh, a ballet costume. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> but uh, we can't pick it anymore. In the Malevolence, even the bold. Well, we could just try using stuff on the lane. I have not tried that. A gold plated watering can. No, we can't put anything on the lane. We can't use anything on the bowl. Maybe if we put some kind of explosive on the bowl. Something. Presto. Changeo. Right, so I'm pretty sure there's nothing from here to the left that I can do. Actually, from from here to the left. So nuts instead of bolts. The spike could be instead of something, but... I don't think it's a matter of us having to solve the machine yet. What is still unsolved? The bowling? Maybe the monitor on the jail? Maybe the stump on the castle? By the way, we have... We have been to the prison, we haven't found Ray. So if Ray is a thing we have to find, it would be inside the castle. We already got a few hints for what to do on the castle. We have escaped the henchmen all the times they have attacked. 
So I don't think there's anything else around here. Unless I can interact with this scarecrow, I don't think I've actually tried. What if I try to fend him off with a mallet? Relax, Drew. As long as he's stuck on that pole, he ain't going nowhere. Can I interact with the pole? No. I haven't actually tried to use anything. Now I'm really clutching it. I'm con I'm con Maybe there is a scene where we use this. A gold plated wall. this and I don't think she has any more dialogue for us I hate this character Hi. no Never nothing no. <laughs> at least you can skip the dialogue okay the bar has nothing the arcade has nothing um, the bakery has nothing. Or the costume shop. There is nothing over here. Like, what could we possibly use in the tavern? It, it allows me to pick up the mouse, but the mouse is not here. What is it talking about? Can't seem to catch him. Okay, this is bugged. Yeah, the mouse is still moving around the tavern. It's just too fast. And now he's here. Yeah, that's a bug. He still interact with the mouse even though he's not here. Could I? I'm, I'm gonna save just in case it really screws up the file. How did I pick up the mouse? I think I moved him. Can't see the catch him over there, and then I asked Flux to do this. Flux, go give that mouse trap a whack, would you? Check. No, yeah, he's not killing the unexisting mouse. We cannot spike a gamer. Absolutely nothing here. Unless we can put something else in this machine, but I doubt it. I also doubt these people need anything. Let me disable the music. Let's just look at this, because I believe the nuts go here. The cloak goes here. The pepper goes here. Anything I didn't try? The spike. Instead of the rock? The chain. Bowling chain. Right, this is what the chain is for. 
bowling chain, stripes and heart. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna put anything so I can check my answers of bow and arrow. Of course. Um. Seven. Not quite rocket Six. scientists. Six correctly. Okay. The correct ones are for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one of these is in the wrong spot. I just didn't. I didn't realize. What could it be? Um, spike and rock might be wrong. Oh well, keep trying. Even I can have an off day now and then. Just want to see which one of these is not one word supposed to be in here, but it's just at the wrong spot. I think unless one of those is for the stripes. I'm gonna rotate everything until we get a, a match. So, because those others are definitely correct. Clutching. Okay, so we have one correct. Which one is it? Let's change this to around. Something obvious is flying over my head. Very soon, you will know me as yeah, it is one of these two. Is it polish and spike or is it needles and puffer fish? Let's test the puffer fish first. Oh dear, I'm afraid no, that isn't quite right. Spike. Look at the seven and six are pl the cute god. Uh, so the correct is with the spike instead of the polish. I don't know what the relationship is. Not quite. I'm sorry if it is obvious. It does escape me. Okay, so we have seven, we need five. We need uh, needles. Whatever that might be. Whatever for whistles, for heart, for stripes, and for rock. What is... That's it. Spit. Ah, spit. Ah, okay, no, it's not a spike, it's a spit. So you spit and then you polish. Okay. Okay, I don't find it clever, but uh, I guess. I guess it does make a little bit of sense. Well, the trash can is still nothing. I think I'm gonna need that. Trash can has been nothing for a while. I think it would be interesting if it was like items you don't need anymore. You just <laughs> get rid of them. I think I'm gonna need that. 
then again, maybe not. Doe's uh, doe. I think I'm gonna. Open for business. Uh, what sort of business is that, Drew? We can't go in there, nothing there, nothing there. Click, still a mystery, if it is anything. I'm conspicuous enough. We re enable the music. Who could possibly want a fly costume? No one seems to want anything right now. Every time he does that, uh, they move a little bit. <clears throat> Remember when we got stuck because we didn't know we could move to the left here? Was also dumb. I don't think there's any reason to interact with her. I'm good. Hello there, Absentia. Nice to have you back here. We are currently stuck and we don't know what to do. So we just keep walking back and forth, trying to th think. Ah, well, let's get back inside again. Activate cloaking device. Don't mind us, ma'am. Then I just keep that dialogue. Okay, let's try every item at the bowl. Ooh, wait a second. He keeps oh, killing flies. A truly repulsive. Yeah, this is a fly costume. This has to be related. I'm conspicuous. But I can't dress it. I can't ask Flux to dress with it. I can use it on him. I can't use it on the bow. But it has to be related. Can I use it on the changing room? Why not? We're going here, can't do anything with the mouse. It's just well, well, an interaction. Now can we <laughs> yeah, now it releases the mouse. The flight costume has to have something to do with this. Hey, fat boy. Hey, freaks. We cannot ask him about the flies. Later. And I can't get inside. Anywhere I try to use a fly costume, uh, he refuses. Good night. But this is way too suspicious. Pray to not be the answer. Uh. 
I'm conspic... We, maybe if we could like ask for a demonstration then switch into the custom but once you ask for the demonstration it just goes Way too obvious in the fly costume over here. I'm surprised it isn't the answer. Presto! Changeo! And I don't think we can change into it being out here. I'm conspicuous no. enough already. And not her. Can I still talk to her? Hello, sweaty eyes. What do you want, you lousy two-bit parasite? Nothing, though. So, your boss don't take kindly to screw-ups. The boss has a policy. Anybody screws up, he jumps down their throat, trashes their insides, and punches a hole through their gut on his way out. A policy worth remembering. See? I guess it would be too bad if he got word that you were screwing up. Just what are you saying, Jack? Suppose somebody was to tip CD off that you were screwing up, laying on the sauce, harassing the customers, that kind of thing. PDQ, you'd find yourself out of a job and fresh out of teeth. I don't think any of us wants to see that happen. And none of us will. See, I have this policy of my own. If a couple of saps try and strong arm me, I jump on top of them and wipe my feet with their broken faces. Another policy worth remembering. <laughs> I thought that dialogue might actually be something, but nope. We really don't seem to agree with her. Hey, the feeling is mutual. Anything that I have missed around here? enough time here if if anyone wishes to share a hint although i don't know if anyone here uh, in chat actually knows the answer but uh if anyone does happen to have a hint to share maybe what screen i should be in otherwise we're gonna be in here for a little while longer tree is better than none yeah we are stumped yeah this is also very suspicious why is there a monitor and controls for it I can't interact with anything on this side. Look, it's a mindless cartoon. There's nothing else for me to put inside the watering can. I just realized it's a 
toilet with teeth. Seems very comfortable. I'm not sure these robots are the work of someone who's brilliant or completely insane. And I still think this might be something, but I've no idea how to trigger it. Because, like I said, there are these marks on the floor, so it looks like something that turns around. I have tried sending him to press the button while I'm here, it doesn't do anything. I don't have any use for the head of a broken down megalomaniacal robot. Are you sure you don't have any use? Just another example of the power of the written word. None of these we can actually use on a, the button. Yeah. This is the part of adventure games that I do not particularly enjoy. And where are the games, adventure games that don't have this at some point? And I'm fully willing to accept that maybe that, that's just because um, I suck. But still, there are games I can't enjoy while not being good at them. I don't think I can put it back. I'll just put this back where I found it. I can, but I need it. Maybe I can cook something on it? I can cook the bread! That's a very weird way of making bread. And sunning. Hey! I didn't know you could cook. I mean bake. I mean barbecue. Yeah, it'll... What? Oh, cooked it myself. The Malevolator. Rock and roll. Okay, so we have another item for here. It's a roll. Rock and roll. We have eight items. We might still want to use it for something. Can we put anything else in here? Not fish sticks for me. No, I think... We keep finding things to do on this screen. It's amazing. Okay, maybe we need to use the roll for something else. It's like the only new item we have. I don't think we can, like... Um, roll the bowling ball. Let me try presenting the roll for to, uh, to the bakers. I doubt they care. No, they do not. Might as well try a bunch of items while I'm here. Flux can't play a broken piano? Heck, Flux can't play- I heard that! 
We got that you're very early a city. Alright, we got one more item for the machine. It doesn't help us yet. There's no way we can use that roll for bowling. And I still think we might need uh, the brain. From that guy at whack me. No, we can't interact with the butterflies. I did think about it plenty already. Maybe we could. Trying to put a glove. The shuttle has its hand. The hands are. No, you can't put a. I know there's nothing here. Come on. There we go. You <coughs> looking at our favorite folks in the whole world? Our paying customers. None of these. Look. Helps me. It's just for I this. Which we have already figured out before. <laughs> I'm gonna play the boxing glove animation again and skip it just to see if it changes anything on the scenery we're back pleasure to see you again you guys are regular regulars would you mind demonstrating that glove again say no more customer satisfaction is our number one priority i thought it was your middle name listen to this with the simple press of a button this glove will smash the living daylights out of any unsuspecting sucker skull the chump on the receiving end is guaranteed to see stars every time. Observe. Skip it. Can we? Can we? No. The animation shows the brain being shot at the wall, but... He doesn't show up here, he's just is on the floor for a while and we can't interact with him. Hi guys, how's been uh Um I think your gift machine is empty. Of course it's empty. Didn't I stand here and watch you take every last prize? Y yes. And what's your point? Just making conversation. Right, we can we can ask for the demonstrations, but we don't really do yes. anything. And remember, this is the check it out. Yeah. Plays a cinematic, then it's back to nothing. Okay, remember. Can I give them anything? Hey, Wolf! Wanna go fish flushing with us? Can't. I did try that before. It's not the first time he has replied with that. Wow. 
whack me. Maybe later. Uh -huh. There's nothing else here. I suppose we could. Uh... But no, no, don't, don't go out. Hold on, did I save it actually? I did. I could flush the fish down, but I don't think that's... Because this is the good fish. The only one it didn't take was the green one. Nice catch! So this one is also considered a good fish. Apparently. What is this? Soul. Is that a bun over here? Ah, heart and soul. Okay. So we need this fish. That's... Uh, nine items? We need three more. Whatever is opposite of whistles, whatever is opposite of needles, and whatever is opposite of stripes. Whistles, so it's a plural. Maybe, maybe not. Needles and stripes. Can we get some toilet water? Toilet water? Mm, no. I don't think we're gonna be using a soul for anything else. I don't see how it could be useful. Oh! Actually... It's very unlikely, but... We did ask for... Shoes for bowling. Ready for some speedy? So maybe it's some pun involving us. The soul of a shoe? I don't know. Probably not. We have arrived. Activate clock. Don't then hop. Hey, can we put this? I generally try to avoid. No, it isn't for anything here. I keep thinking those flies are suspicious. We can't interact with it before he kills one. Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> Baby burn. <laughs> Maybe if we could. Uh, I don't think he's hungry. Because if we could make him eat something, I don't think he's. It could affect his technique, which is a bit of a stretch, but that's our life right now. Gonna, I'm gonna check the machine again, but oh, okay. 
Okay. The malevolator. It's pins and needles. We need the pins from the from bowling. Which is the price for getting a strike. So that's not optional. We have the nuts. We have the chain, we have the arrow, we have the pepper, we have the roll, we have the sugar, we have the spit, we have the cloak, and we have the soul. We know we know where to get the pins. We just need to know what is instead of stripes. Stars? And the whistles. The whistles I have no idea. But it is something in plural. Yeah, it might be stars and stripes. Uh, the only stars I have found, actually, there is a set of stars that I have seen. It's very. Uh, it's reaching, honestly, but. Because the guy says that it's guaranteed to make the victim see stars. Can I pick up the stars? Yep. I'm sure he has plenty more where these came from. Yep. Nice logic game. It. Okay, we got stars, I guess. The malevolator. So we need to know what we need to be able to know how to get the pins and we need to know what to, what goes with the whistles. It's something in the plural form. The malevolator. Because all of these bolts and nuts, needles and pins. Stripes and stars, everything that is plural requires another plural, otherwise it would be just whistle. So, whistles. No idea. But the stars were pretty dumb. Not gonna lie. But we got it. we can let me just because I didn't even consider picking up the stars before let me see if any other demonstration nope nothing changed it's been fun but well we're back pleasure to see you could we see you bet but show them nope no difference. I yes. with your mind. and remember this is check it out. No, it's just the stars. Really going. Okay, champ. Remember. There's always a chance that we get one of these and we leave and something changes. It has happened before. I could try to leave and the guy turns some something into like we could leave here and it uses the ray on this. Or on all of these because we might be done with all of these. Yeah, but that wasn't the case. Whistles and what? And how do we get the pings? How do we get a strike? Put down a save because getting the stars is a bit annoying. Maybe if we, if we if we could find something to attach to the bow, I'm gonna go there there just to try using the the stars on everything. Yeah, it's really slow to get back in there. Activate. Having to put up the cloak every time. Don't then. Okay, 
stars on the ball. Nope, stars on city also no. Nope. Stars. It has to be the black costume. I'm conspicuous enough already. I don't care, just put it on. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> There's even a changing room here for that. can't walk in front of those other guys, we can't talk to those other guys. Is there anything we could use on the lane? Good night. So I'm gonna Try using every item on the three things we can use them. I know this may be kind of unpleasant Ooh. for you, little buddy, but I want you to know that it hurts you more than oh. it hurts me. Oh, that's sweet. Hey, wait a minute. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. You did it! Whew. Thank goodness. I was afraid you'd have to shoot me out of your butt. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Strike. I'll be damned. Yeah, and we didn't even use your special technique. No ifs, ands, or buts. Those two Get it? chumps scored a strike. A strike. Nobody scores a strike but me. Uh, CD. <laughs> a strike. Look, CD, I don't mean to rush the grieving process here, but could we have our trophy? We kind of got to get going. Ah, oh, take it, you losers. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Destroy my business. Destroy my reputation. Sure. I can handle it. Jeez, I hate to see a grown man cry. Yeah, especially one in a tutu. <laughs> Just go. I guess this means we can't be friends. <laughs> Go! <laughs> they could have made an animation of him crying, but okay. Presto! Changeo! So hopefully we don't have to go in there anymore. So supposedly we only need one more item. Uh, shit, I clicked. Outside of the game. Okay. Let's go back to the machine. Put in the 11 items we know we have. And think about the last one, maybe. Let me disable the music. Because Twitch is weird sometimes. Let's see. Nuts instead of bolts, pins instead of needles, stars instead of stripes, cloak instead of dagger, soul instead of heart, roll instead of rock, pepper instead of salt, arrow instead of bow, chain instead of pole, 
speed and polish and now we just need something for the whistles which is probably none of these but i'm going to try each and every one just in case yeah no it's oh well keep tr even i can have Nope. Not one word, either of you. Because we really don't know where else to go. If it isn't any of these. I think you're. Uh, we haven't used the globe for anything, or the fly costume. We have used this. We haven't used this in this form. But we have used it in general. A drill, genius, and ninety. Yeah, I know. We're just testing everything. Sue me. Dang. Drill, clutching. Oh, I know what it is instead of instead of whistles. I know what it is. It's bells, bells and whistles. So we just have to know where to find bells. I'm gonna finish doing this anyway, just you know, in case I'm wrong. Oh dear, I'm afraid that isn't quite right. Look at the readout. Ele Fun uh, ele our the cute God. Yeah, 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 you can shut up. And we need bells. Oh, well, even. Okay, just pick everything back up. Now there is a bell here, I think. I don't think it's this one. We can't go up there or anything. We can go up here, but... It isn't here. Unless the mug was bells and we could replace it, but yeah, I, I don't think that makes any sense. Can we look for bells in here? I don't want to disturb. No, we cannot go inside. We have a. King Hughes music box with ink on it. The music box. There might be bells in here, but there's no way to open it. Tempting, but probably not a good idea. Yeah. Bowling pins, tastefully mounted. Where could we possibly find bells? Oh, it's good that we know exactly what is the last thing we need. Let me put the music back on. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go through all these areas uh, looking to see if there's anything that looks like bells there is a costume that takes uh, that has bells but I don't think we can get it you're still waiting through that squirrel book for sure it's cool but then so's every book you know well see you later for sure There's bells. Okay. 
sure game, whatever. Let me disable the music again. And let's finish this part of the game. This is probably the end of the first half of the game. I could be wrong. But there is like a character that is a clown that is shown on the on the box cover art for the for the game. So I think that we haven't seen that character yet. We're probably going to the castle or something. It might be locked out of this entire region of the game. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So one last time. Bow and arrow. Ball and chain. Rock and roll. Salt and pepper. Cloak and dagger. Stars and stripes. Bells and whistles. Heart and soul. Uh, speed and polish, pins and needles, nuts and bolts. And here we go. Yeah. Is that it? Is the cuter fire finished? Yes. 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 Wonderful! So are you fellas ready to go to it? Yes, sirree! We've never been so... Go to what? Well, goodness! Go and cutify things, of course! What did you think the cutifier was for? Flux, was this part of the bargain? I'm... not sure. Do you think we have a choice? I guess the alternative would be to let Wing Commander here pilot it. No choice, sir. That's okay. <laughs> Maybe this will be another one of those meaningful life experiences. I certainly prefer that to one of those meaningless death experiences. <laughs> Gentlemen, the time has come to launch the cutifier! brick a brack Yes? You did remember to build another much larger exit from this hangar, didn't you? Uh... Ah, my trusted henchman. Come in, come in. Please. Indulge me in one simple question. Anything, Your Unholiness. You need only... Where are the fugitives I ordered you to arrest? <gasps> Gee, that's a good question. Silence, fool! Oh, we'll, 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 we'll find him, sire. And, and bring him to you. It's as good as done. We'll leave no stone unturned. No rock unrolled. Hey, your malevolence, I beg you, <laughs> give us this one chance to prove that we can do your evil bidding, that we are still worthy! Go then, but do not fail me again! Remember, reanimating your miserable corpses wasn't easy. Squeezing the life back out of them would be. Yes, sir! Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Congratulations, your mission was an astounding, tremendous, cutifying success. I've been receiving messages from all over Qtopia. Tales of the wonderful transformations taking place. Can you believe it? It really worked. <laughs> I now have the power to cutify anything, anyone. Happy day! Happy day! Yes, it is! Surely is. I'm glad we were able to help Qtopia, King Hugh. But I am looking forward to getting home now. And I have every intention of sending you there, just as soon as you finish your end of the bargain. Finish? But I thought, I mean, I have finished. The machine is up and running. Qtopia is cute again. True, yeah. True. But, if I'm not mistaken, the deal was for you to cutify the world. Meaning, of course, the whole world, not just Qtopia. Whole world? You don't mean, you can't mean, Zenithu. And the Malevolands, as we agreed. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I agreed to that? Why, well, yes. Oh, come now, Drew. Surely we share the same sweet dream. This is our golden opportunity to spread happiness throughout the world. But, Your Majesty, 
If malevolation is bad for Cutopians, then think how cutification will feel to everyone else. Oh, yeah. My face can only take about four minutes of smiling before it starts to hurt. <laughs> no, you're just talking silly. What could be bad about cutification? Uh, sorry, uh, Hugh. This just doesn't seem right. I think we'd better leave well enough alone. You don't seem to understand. I'm not asking you to do this. I'm ordering you as my loyal subjects. Now, wait a minute. Before you speak, think about it. Defy me, and you'll most likely be stuck here forever. Are you really willing to take that chance? Yes. Yes. <laughs> of course. I knew you'd see it my way. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, yes. What do you mean, yes? I mean, yes. I'm not going to help you carry out this ridiculous plan. Yes, of course he's not. I guess I'll just have to find another way home. Well, have it your way, Drew. The world will be cutified, and you'll be stuck here forever. Wrong! The world won't be cutified. Only Flux and I know how to fly the machine, and we, and these, are out of here. Stop! You aren't going anywhere. I command you. Stop! You! That's right! Oh, oh shit. It's me, Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun! Everybody's favorite bunny! A bunny with a master plan! That is never good. The cutification of the world is only phase one. Even now, Bric-a-Brac is busy developing an ultimate creative device. One that will give me the power to create all the happy things I desire. <laughs> In short, I will be a god. <laughs> oh, don't worry about the other King Hugh. He's safely locked away, learning how to be truly happy, just like me. And someday he, too, will take his rightful place at my feet. Woohoo! Time to skedaddle. Guards! Guards! Seize these enemies of Cutopia. Uh oh. <laughs> it's not the king! It's Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun! Masquerading as Hugh! Me? A cross-dressing, throne-seizing rabbit? <laughs> Surely you can do better than that. He has the keys to the machine. Get them. <laughs> it's time to make our guests cute. <laughs> hey, nothing happened. Flux. Okay, it didn't work. <laughs> Goodness me, Daru. You are absolutely right. <laughs> These are very long cinematics. Well, the and his machine are probably nowhere near the castle. As you recall, Hugh and his minions are already cutified. Yeah, whose idea was it to come here anyway? Not mine. Ooh. Not mine. Well, it certainly wasn't mine. Ugh. Yes, it. Quiet! We don't have time to argue. We must locate their hiding place. Let's, Let's go, go that away. Come on, Fox. Snap out of it. There's a one big chance to get out of here. Golly, Drew, I am perfectly happy right here. Thanks. You go on ahead. This one must take more power. <laughs> what? Yes, your cuteness. <laughs> I'm the leader, and I say we go that way. <laughs> Say, don't I know you? It's him! Get him! <laughs> My plan worked! Hooray! You've caused enough trouble, fugitive. We're taking you straight to Nefarious! Uh, 
can't have gotten far. Alert the others. Find him. You can fly that machine, can't you? Why, sure I can. <laughs> then do it. <laughs> Cutify. Oh, I don't know. Everything. Of course, kind sir. Oh, oh. Bye bye. Oh, shit. Sorry. Did I wake you? <laughs> it's you. I should have guessed. Nefarious Simons! <gasps> That's Count Nefarious to you, little man. Master of the Malevolands, bane of Qtopia, and soon supreme ruler of the world. So please, show a little respect. Oh. Oh, where... Where am I? Why? One's dungeon, of course. I trust you find the accommodations to your liking. I do try my so very hard to furnish my guests with all the creature discomforts they deserve. I have a reputation to consider, you understand. What do you want from me? Want? From you? Nothing. You've done quite enough already, Drew Blank. But tell me, did you honestly believe that you, you fetid sack of us, could just waltz into my world, casually thwart my plans for global domination, and then just ride off into the sunset? <sighs> Think again. No, 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 thanks! I, I already gave it the office! Lovely, isn't it? It contains a little cocktail of my own invention. I suppose in layman's terms, it could be described as a mutagen ink. <laughs> I won't tax your feeble brain with the details. Suffice it to say that once the serum has worked its way through your body, it will transform the Drew Blank we all know and loathe into a tomb like everybody else. Powerless, vulnerable, and a prisoner in my world forever. You're not gonna shoot me full of that stuff! Oh, bravo. <laughs> For once, you're absolutely right. I'm not going to. I already have. <laughs> Sorry. I can't help but find it all rather amusing. <laughs> oh, yes, I know. I can be such a terrible prick. I'll get out of here, the fire, so help me. Oh, my dear Monsieur Blanc. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. Even if you manage to worm your way out of that reinforced cell, the castle is simply crawling with ferocious guards. I'm sure you just die if you bumped into them. <laughs> I kill myself. As for possible exit points from the castle, well, I guarantee you'd find the plummet to the surrounding waters below nothing short of breathtaking. So, unless I'm overlooking some small detail, such as a pair of retractable wings that sprout out of your back, I'd suggest you sit back and relax like a good boy and let the mutagen take its course. You While I destroy the cutifier. What? Just tell me where it is and I'll leave you to your unpleasant transformation. Tell you where to find the machine? Ha! Now that is amusing. Is it? Well, then perhaps you'll tell. Me. <gasps> now! Get your hands off me. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Oh, I'm good. Now, think, Mr. Black. Cutifier. Where is it? 
When the machine left King Hughes Castle, it was flying due west. I guess it's nearing the edge of Qtopia by now, and heading directly for us. And who is piloting the infernal contraption? My friend, Flux Wildly. How convenient. I can destroy the machine and the meddling Zanian, all in one fell swoop. An auspicious start to our partnership, Mr. Blanc. Welcome to the team. Thank you, Master. I will serve you well. Until I escape. Impudent fool! <laughs> Misfortune. Quickly, gaze into the future. I must know. Can this wretched creature escape my castle? I see. Drew Blanc remaining your captive forever. Yes. Unless... Unless what? He will remain your captive unless... A lifeless knight walks, a dead bird rises a flame, and I myself obey his commands. Impossible! These absurd things could never come to pass. Of course, my liege. Yes, of course. Nevertheless, I will take further precautions. Make no mistake. I will personally blow your friend out of the sky. And as for you, sleepyhead, your life will be an unspeakable atrocity as my obedient slave. Sweet dreams! My name's Snout. I'll be your merciless dungeon guard for the duration of your stay, which is, uh, uh, uh eternity. Eternity. So, is that longer or shorter than life? Longer? Yeah, that's my thought. Let me see what else did you say here. We can escape risk. Well, pff, that's just stupid, you know. Of course it'd be risky for you to try and escape. <laughs> I don't know who wrote this. In fact, the first risk you'd have to take is getting this out of here. <laughs> you know, because... Uh, so have a nice, uh... What did he get? Uh, eternity. Yeah, have, have a nice eternity, prisoner. <laughs> Okay, we can, uh, jeez, that was, what, 20 minutes? All right, uh, let's see. You like her more now? Man, I hated her since I she was first presented as, because uh, on the intro video, she's like a character that he created because, uh, a TV channel or whatever it was wanted to have a character that was so cute and yeah I'm, I'm glad to be out of that like hellhole of cute creatures it's just too annoying and nothing happened because Chris is already a QE well that's a fair assessment I'm sure there's not much to improve there and you can't look yeah it's pretty rough uh, I think we don't have anything on the inventory all the items are here I can see the magnet, I can see the fly costume. My stuff! Nice of them to leave me the bag. Yeah, we just have the bag so the interface doesn't bug out. <laughs> well, it's supposedly a bottomless bag because it can carry everything, I believe. We have bars, we have a mat, we have snout, and have a hallway. Exceptionally thick iron bars. Only the best for Nefarious' guests. We can pick up the mat. Hey, step away from the mat. Or I'll be sorry you did. Hey, I told you already. Keep 
your heads off the mat. Hey, step away from the mat. Or, hey, I told you. Keep. Excuse me. Yes? Looking for mercy from old snout, are we? <laughs> okay, it's been a while since we had a conversation from the start. I assume we can uh, make him look away and then pick up the mat or have him drop the key on the mat or something. It's probably something like that. I think there's been some kind of mis... Bless... Bless you. Oh, yeah? What's that supposed to mean? One more wise crack out of you and I'll... I'll... You'll, uh... I'll do a thing to you! <laughs> and you won't like it. Cause we ogres got our ways. <laughs> okay, we have more ice to break, apparently. Say... Mind if I use the bathroom? Bathroom? Oh, sure. Let me just unlock the... Hey! You trying to trick me, aren't ya? Well, don't be getting any funny ideas. I catch you escaping and I'll... I'll... You'll... Uh... I'll take something big and I'll... Uh, uh, do... Excuse me. I'll swing it around <laughs> and then... Uh, ooh, Ooh, what was I talking about again? Me escaping, as in, don't. Yeah, don't, or, or else. <laughs> yeah, the excuse me in the middle of that was uh, unexpected. So, are you and uh, Nefarious close? Yep. Nefarious has praised me many, many times on my... Oh, oh, how did he say it? Uh, oh, yeah! My uh, gross incompetence, rank in the silly tea, and... and uh, uh, my mental D fish in C. <laughs> so there you go. High praise indeed, <laughs> but without a doubt, deserved. Yeah, what's more? I'm real good at keeping his secrets. Oh, really? Like, uh, what secrets? Well, you know, like how Nefarious is worried about you taking his malevolator thingy. <laughs> Seeing as how it's your only hope of escaping the... the Castle? Castle, yeah. <laughs> and so I says to my sister, Boss, don't you worry, because one... <laughs> One, snout's on the job. And C, the poor sap of the... Uh, dungeon? Dungeon, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have the teeniest clue that he needs to steal your machine. And he'll never find out thanks to... to me? No, me! <laughs> <laughs> Try to be smart. <laughs> And it's painful to see him talk, but it's so freaking funny. <laughs> because Drew keeps helping him and he's like, yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Excuse me. Okay, we can talk about his... Yeah, we can talk about uh, Miss Farge and we can talk about our stuff, I suppose. What's with all the sneezing? You have hay fever? No, oh, no, no fever. Just allergies <laughs> to lots of stuff. <laughs> Damp, mossy stone, rusty chains, rat droppings, and especially dust. That's the biggie. <laughs> and yet you spend your days in a damp, rat-filled, dusty dungeon? Good yeah. Point. So, what's your point? Mm-hmm. So, who's that weird cat? You bet Ms. Fortune? Boy, you really must have ticked off Nefarious. He doesn't call it the spooky cat lady unless it's really serious. 
Call her in? She lives in town? <laughs> nah, she has a room right here at the castle. Only the Farius and his three head henchmen are allowed inside. You mean a guy as important as you can get in? Oh, I wouldn't even if I could. Nothing but weird stuff goes on in there. <laughs> that witch can scramble your brain like an egg. <laughs> I don't know why this guy sounds so funny to me. Uh, what about my stuff? Hey, could you hand me my stuff? It seems to have fallen out of my bag. Oh, sure, I could. Ha 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 ha! No! You're trying to trick me again, aren't ya? What did you take me for? A, 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 a moron? No, an idiot! Do you take me for a idiot? No, no, no. Just a moron. Well, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> but don't be thinking buttering up old snout will get you anywhere. We ogres have a code. <clears throat> As yet to be deciphered. Okay, that's all we can talk about. That was good, actually. Well, it's been nice, but I have an eternity of rotting to be getting along with. See ya! Hey, mister! From now on, it'll be me that tells you when it's time to see ya! Ha! Of course! See ya! Hey! Step away from the mat! Or I'll be sorry you did. Okay, so we have to wait for him to not to be looking away. And then we pick it. Hey, I told you. Keep. Hmm. Okay, let's keep an eye on his pattern, I guess. Ah, shit. Hey. Of course, a crystal. A yellow crystal. Call me crazy, but I bet this lock is opened with a key. And the key is inside that ogre. This is not good. Yeah, he did swallow the key. Call me crazy, but I bet this... Hey, I risked my life snatching this thing. I'm not about to put it back. I don't think I can break through these bars with this crystal. Yeah, that's a very weird item to find. Excuse me. Oh, repugnant one. <laughs> I like the sounds of that. <laughs> what is it now, prisoner? We cannot talk about anything new. Um, Can't you do something about that sneezing? I told ya, it's the dust. You want to sweep this place up, knock yourself out. Otherwise, pipe down or I'll... Or I'll pipe down for ya. You forgot to give me my stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get it right now. Oh! Oh! <laughs> You're lucky I don't yank you out of there and, and do something with my hands. To you, I mean, you know, and a lot. So you've never actually been inside Miss Fortune's room? No way. Like I said, that broad gives me the creeps. <laughs> you cross her and she'll do real bad stuff to your brain. So, really, she poses little or no threat to you. Very good. <laughs> of course he doesn't understand. Sorry, I gotta hate you and leave you. I'm busy formulating a plan for escape. Uh, all right, but no funny business. 
We ogres got eyes on our heads. Good to know. Very good place to have eyes. You can pick the entire mat. A very dusty welcome mat. Oh, it's dusty, so we can make him sneeze a lot. I'm not about to give that back. Psst. Dunderhead. Ah. I don't like when he's looking the other way. So, basically, I can look forward to an eternity of incarceration and your phlegm. I can expect the expectoration. Yeah! <laughs> Sometimes I sneeze so hard, I blow myself clean off of my feet. <laughs> uh, clean being the inoperative word. Okay, I, I, I think I have an idea, and I don't like it. I, I, I don't know if you guys are getting to the same conclusion as I am. I bet you can run over there, grab all my stuff, and bring it back to me in less than a minute. Ha! You're right. Start your clock and... Ooh, I've just about had the amount of you that it takes to make me mad! <laughs> Any more your lips, and I'll have your eternity sentence made even longer! Well, as always, your conversation has left me drenched in mucus. That's all for now. You're dismissed. Yes, sir! Right away, sir! <laughs> Ooh, are you... Got half a mind to Yes, I know. And it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I have half a mind, I know, and that's fine. So what I think he he, he did uh, he did uh maybe uh make some indication to the fact that when his knees is too hard he might um <clears throat> shit himself. And uh, he sold the key, so, um, yeah. And this, very dusty welcome mat. And this mat is very, very dusty. I'm not about to give that back. I don't want to give it back. I want to, like, hit it on the, th yeah. Well, what the... <laughs> Okay, that was better than I expected. Hey, I sure dusted that guy. All right, that was much better. Than what could have been? Looks like eternity isn't all it's cracked up to be. I better grab my stuff. Yeah, everything is in here. Okay, that was that was fine. That was not as bad. I was expecting the worst. You have no idea what I. I mean, you probably do what I was expecting. I expected the key to come out the wrong way. Hi there, little fella. Box, box, box. Huh? Every box should be pulled out once, and only once. Don't start by pulling red book one. Okay. Okay, hold on. Each book once. Don't start with the red one. Start... Any more tips? Hello? Blue book should be pulled out in numerical order. Blue, Blue book two should be pulled out after two red books have been pulled. Crazy bird. Okay, hold on. 
blue book two after two red books blue books in numerical order yeah, this is obviously a future puzzle Want a cracker? red book three should be pulled immediately after red book one half of the blue book pulls are immediately followed by a red book pull of course have it have the blue holes are after a red hole. I wish we could like pause the talking so I could read it and take note properly. What was that you were saying? Neither Red Book 3 nor Red Book 4 is the last red book to be pulled. The final blue book should be pulled immediately after all red books have been pulled. And that's all. Right. And the last blue right after all red. He said that's also, I think, is going to repeat, so I want to check my notes. Books? Every book should be pulled out once and only once. Don't start by pulling red book one. <laughs> nice birdie. Okay, each book once and only once. Don't start with red one. Hello? Blue book should be pulled out in numerical order. Okay. <laughs> Blue book two should be pulled out after two red books have been pulled. Crazy bird. Okay, now red three is after red one. Red book three should be pulled immediately after red book one. Half of the blue book pulls are immediately followed by a red book pull. It's the contrary. Of course. Mm, no. Opposite. Uh, have the blue pulls are followed by a red pull. I'm gonna skip text what to was that you check were that again. Neither red book three nor red book four is the last red book to be pulled. The final blue book should be pulled immediately after all red books have been pulled. And that's all. <laughs> Okay, I just want to check. Books. Every Don't nice birdie. Uh. Hello? Bloop. Bloop. Crazy. Want a cracker? Half of are immediately followed by a red book pull. Of course. Half. <laughs> Blue. Pulls. Are followed by red. Okay. I think I have all the notes. This game has a lot of those. Um, we can't. No, I thought we could pick up the. I'd rather not wake him up. He looks kind of peaceful when he's not sneezing. He is. Uh, we have upstairs and we have a hallway. I really want to do the books puzzle right away. Where are the books? Oh, shit. Oh, the books, the books. There's something weird about some of those books. Maybe it's worth a closer look. There we go, there we go. 
let's have it done right away before I get too confused. Each book is only once. Do not start with red one. So the first is not this. Blue are done from left to right. And this is after two of these. This is after this. Half of these are followed by this. These are not the last ones. So one of these... No. This is after all these are done. Okay. I assume we can try as many times as we want. Uh, let me see. Mm. No, this is already wrong, actually. Tugging on these books is getting me nowhere. I don't think those books are real. Jesus. Um. Shit. This is this is gonna be complicated. Um. So I cannot start with red one, but I can start with uh, I can start with this. Red three is after red one, so I could do this and this and then this because this has to be after two. Now half of them. I have to, maybe this one isn't, but the last one is not followed. Right, so this has to be after all of them, so this one is not followed. So one of these has to be followed by a red. I just realized I have to have made a mistake Tugging already. These books is getting me nowhere. Yeah. So if we start with this, <coughs> can do this and this and this. Then we either go here, or we go here. Okay. Uh, blue book, two after two red, we have done that. Red three is after red one, we have done that. Half the blue pools are, are followed by red. This was followed by red. This, uh, then it has to be this. Hey, I did it. I guess hitting the books can pay off. First time, every time. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty good. Come on. And that was a very confusing puzzle. Got him. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself with this one. I have a truckload of of castle to explore. I'm actually gonna put down even another save because Jeez, I don't know. Did we oh shit, we forgot to enable music. I blame Twitch and muting VODs. Anyway, 